Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Let's chat a little first. So we'll see who's around. We'll probably do a little warm-up TTF. But I think today we're going to finally say goodbye to the Sonic Pinball Party soundtrack, which I have to say, if you were going to say... What is a great Sonic soundtrack? And you had told me Sonic Pinball Party, I would not have believed you. But honestly, it was a pretty good soundtrack all the way through. I'm not sure if it's my favorite. But yeah, those spin-off games, they had some good songs in there. I'm not sure if I like it more than some of the most modern Sonic, but... TBD on that one. So farewell, Sonic Pinball Party. You're gonna last like all of two more minutes or so. Two and a half. But I think from that standpoint, we'll uh, just kind of boot up PSO, see where th things go from there. So people are looking to join in. I do offer the opportunity if people are looking to level. This will be one of the few nights you can make that request. As we guide you to the path to level 80. Hmm. I guess I can use my Ramar maybe. Show him off a little more as we switch into PSO. everybody out there is having a good day today. It was a long day for me. I'm feeling it a little bit. I'm trying to keep that energy up, but man, I do not like 6.30 a.m. starts. I, I feel it, like, way earlier than I'm <laughs> used to. Yeah, let's do solo run more. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I can make Vault Op shoot into the floor again on stream. So we are basically fully loaded when it comes to equipment. I have no worries about that. The old classic random letters to form the game. I was gonna say, you watch. I'm gonna do Towards the Future, and this will be like the one time it gives me rare slime. That's been my alternate hunt for most of the week so far. I've seen zero. Chat is curious. Literally zero. So sad. But that's okay. We got a big gun, and we will use it to blow away all the enemies. Ooh, that two-shot. Nasty. A little pause trick there to avoid targeting. Although, I should probably do that to avoid targeting. It's a little cleaner for the visual for the viewers. I'm just so used to doing the other way. I don't even think about it anymore. I love that this character can actually just land their heavy special humbles all the time. The Rommar privilege is real. This poor dragon. It was a boss. <laughs> now, now this is kind of more of a speed bump in the middle of the boss rush. In fact, this boss is so easy I'm going to switch the soundtrack we're listening to mid-boss battle. You ready? Okay, got some time. The soundtrack is over. Look at that. Changed it over. We're moving on to Sonic battle. Poor dragon. <laughs> he gives me like a, 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 a pause, a little bit of a breather. Oh, I didn't one-shot the dragon. That's unfortunate. I guess I could angry stomp near the dragon. I haven't done that in a while. Let's maneuver into the cutscene. Angry stomp time. I don't know what the difference is between the normal soundtrack and the remastered. Some of the song lines look different, weirdly. That is quite an intro song so far. Again, I'm gonna be very upset. If I see yellow text below that mini-map, okay, I was gonna say, don't you dare. <laughs> I, I better only see the rare enemies when I want them. Right now, I don't want to see them, despite it being rare enemy week, where the bonuses are naturally higher. 
Yeah, we're going on a nice little boss killing spree. Just to leisurely stroll through all the things that could kill us if we let them. I was not expecting to do that much damage. I didn't realize I could one-tap them. The more you know. That was a little slow. Yeah. I got a menu faster there. That would have stopped them from splitting. Oh well. Gotta wait for the enemy to spawn so we could continue. It's faster to wait here than to proceed to the next room, sadly. General Arm++. plus plus. You know what's sad? I could actually use that. Main menu, Sonic Battle. What was system this came out for? Welcome, Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I shouldn't have healed. You know what? I got rewarded for healing. Never mind. Disregard. I needed to heal. No mag invincibility, which I could tell in the upper left-hand corner. So we're gonna do this the boring way. What is the game title for soundtrack? Sonic Battle. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna use my bazooka on the giant worm. Oh, did that seriously not kill fast enough? That is so sad. Game Boy Advance, it makes sense. I was robbed. I don't think I crit very often on the boss just then. Normally it dies even doing uh, just heavies. Either that or my uh, AoE shell missed and I didn't realize it did. That's also a possibility. Because the worm does wiggle back and forth so sometimes it hits more, sometimes it hits less. And when it hits less it really sucks. I didn't really want to use Excalibur, so I did the lazy method. That cost me like six seconds. Goodbye, Sino Red. <laughs> it's got a very weird sound chip. I haven't decided if I would have listened to the whole soundtrack, but it's got a lot of ear ears in it. I don't know how I feel about that. The rest of it sounds okay. Hmm. Playing green ID, so I guess I should probably do this. Yeah, it's very weird. I'm just curious if it's like, if it's just like a couple songs we'll keep listening. But if it's like every song, I don't know if I could go like an hour listening to the soundtrack. I'm assuming we're in like m mode select still. It sounded like we were in main menu and move forward. Little pause trick there to dodge the shot. Gladius with 50 hit and panic. It's unfortunate. Yeah, and Parameter, you missed something very sad off stream. There's a uh, 55 hit unidentified Vulcan, and it had a uh, dim. So sad. I was like, come on. <laughs> there's there's a quite a few number of specials that could have been and been still usable. Just like, wow. One of the worst possible. So sad. I guess Falls won in the end. Falls made me sad. But we managed to dodge that. That's all that matters. Yeah, big oof in the chat for uh, what could have been. Speaking of what could have been. Let's see if we can uh, manipulate the orb again if it happens. I'm not going to stall on purpose for it, but if it happens, I'm going to go for it. 
I'm I forget how slow it is in single player compared to multiplayer. It's like so reasonable in in single player. Multiplayer is just obnoxious. Ooh, I barely didn't almost didn't kill that in time. My shift just should last the rest of the boss fight. It is kind of a shame during these cutscenes it counts down my buff timer. Yeah, it's like it's just way too fast in multiplayer. Like, what are you supposed to do as like the hunter? Like, imagine playing like all hunters in multiplayer. How miserable of an experience that would be. Trying your best to like red handgun that nonsense. Ray gun with 40 hit again. Like, you see what I mean in Parameter? These items are like almost usable. Shake your head. Disappointment yet again. Uh, I'll switch to Yashmina Cop here. I think if I do this right, I don't have to dodge. Yeah. I'm used to going to the left, I'm sure it's better to go to the right, but I'm like, listen. Sometimes it's hard to break habits. Kinda like when I do this and I go, nope. Nice try, enemies. <laughs> I get to have my fun with them. Like, in theory, they're a challenge, just not at the level of gameplay that we're at currently. So I did optional Sinnoh, so I think my time's okay. I lost a little bit of time on Worm Boss for sure. Uh, Actually, Yashminikov might be better here. This is dark percentage and it lets me hit the other one faster. Yeah, I think that's just stronger. I mean, it's three buttoning. It's pretty good. targeted. Unfortunate. Also, the Dell Ds are so slow in single player. I love pointing that out. Like, when we play multiplayer, they're like, they're just like, vroom, vroom, they're just like taking off max speed. Those guys, they're, they're like walk in the park speed. Going for that leisurely stroll. The guitar portion sounds a little better now. Welcome, Dengo. Yeah, the feeling is probably just an issue with the, like the first couple songs, which is kind of bad if it's like your main theme sounds like that. Um, I forgot to reapply Shifta. That was a mistake. I'm gonna have to fix that soon. That will actually impact the run. <sighs> I was worried that would happen. So the, if I hit every shot, I don't need to hit the spinners. But if I miss a single shot, I have to do that. That is unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. I will go for the backup strat. Get rid of those. Like, it is possible for me to burst the boss, but if I get, like, a whip and then everything else... Okay, I got exactly what I wanted right before the boss did it. I actually wanted that invincibility. I got hit on purpose. I'm hoping the boss does a quick pattern here so I can ignore it. If it gives me, a, if it gives me the pattern I'm actually looking for, then it doesn't matter. I'm assuming it's just going to waste my time here. Yeah. Okay. Good feeling. I just assumed the boss would waste my time. Good assumption. Now I don't have to dodge. See, that time it paid off. <laughs> Thank you, Invincibility. Uh, I don't recall if I have Trimate set up on my button. We'll find out really quickly. I do, thankfully. 
I'm gonna go for a fast kill here. I'm gonna see if I can kill it before it goes up in the sky. This is fine, I can't target it anyway. Oh, and then it went full screen. Okay, now I don't think I can fast kill. What a jerk. Seriously, I whiffed the berserk. Oh, never mind. Boss gave me another chance. GG. Ramar, Ramar, Poe damage actually matters in single player. Multiplayer, not too much. Doing 100 damage to a 10,000 health boss. Like, I get like 7 8 Foe's in. It skips me like a Heaven Striker shot. I'm not even like optimized for it either. Sadly, I'm at max MST, 665. It's a very sad total, but that's what they got to work with. So I did okay. I think if I had not wasted time with Worm Boss, and if I had gotten the fast kill on uh, the first phase by just choosing not to whiff, I think that's the other thing. I just need like a little bit of hit percentage so I could do heavy special special consistently. Like, when it works, and if it crits, it saves a lot of time. It's like 15 or 20 seconds. But when it whiffs, it's super bad. So yeah, that'll be the goal. I think I have exactly one Heaven Striker with it. Yeah, we had an okay recovery. Hopefully both of you are doing well. Should probably restack my- or restock my healing, I mean. So if there are any runs you would like to do, let me know. I was doing a little bit of the RBR quest mop-up operation off-stream. Trying to go for Talos for Lavis Cannon. Which honestly, it's like having the weekly bonus, so I was like, why not? If there's anybody interested in playing, please let me know. Yeah, what I like to do in the Falls boss fight is that uh, if I feel like I'm being trolled, I like the Yashminikov or the Around the Arena phase and even Final Phase to some extent. Like Heaven Striker will strictly do more damage and like a very optimal Heaven Striker will very much out damage Yashminikov. But I have a Yashminikov with hit and dark, so its damage is actually decent. So if I do not crit with Heaven Striker, it actually currently out damages Heaven Striker due to the fact that I can't land special consistently. If I could land special consistently, then that is not true. But just that's how the DPS just works out. So if I feel like I'm not sure if I'll kill, I'd rather Yashminikov. Oh, I don't see anybody in block two, so I'm assuming nobody's waiting. Guess I could do another one. And I'm not sure. I mean, if people want to do some episode two, we didn't end up doing any of that before. Actually, I'm good. I don't need to swap anything. I know Tiki, for example, was looking for like Vivian's. If Tiki's around, we'll probably end up doing some of those at some point. Otherwise, we'll just do warm-ups as people gather in. But yeah, I think at this point, I'm only looking for a handful of items. And Rare Enemy Week is probably my least favorite week. I've honestly taken off before. Rather than do Rare Enemy Week, because I'm just like... I just don't like the concept of the hunt. It's like, yes, I'm technically rolling odds of them appearing every time I fight the enemies that the red one will replace. But like, visually and from a gameplay standpoint, when you go like 30 quests without ever seeing one, it's just kind of like... Hmm... Where at least if it's an enemy that just drops the rare normally, you could just say you got bad luck. But at least you still got like... Maybe something decent. It feels like you had a chance of getting it, I guess is what it comes down to. 
whether or not that's true or not in the long term is, I guess, up to viewer discretion there. So I'll do one more green ID one, then I'll mix it up a little bit. Fire mm. Dragon. If I get really lucky with the crit, it should just kill the dragon instantly. There's potential to hit enough times. Actually, you know what's funny? It might actually be better for me to use charge arm when I'm playing single player. Like, for the initial hit, Cannon Rouge is fine, because it downs the dragon faster. But, like, for the actually hitting the feet... Because I don't have, like, a crazy Cannon Rouge. I don't have, like, any percentage on it. So if I'm just looking to stop it from taking off, that might work for me. Rather than rely on the crits. It just requires me to shoot twice. So we'll see if Vol Op wants to uh, show off any strats. <laughs> but it requires Vol Op to behave, so I kind of doubt it. Goodbye, Lily. What am I doing money-wise? 400,000? Okay, we're good. I like how I go for the risky special first, even though I definitely don't need it. There we go. That time I was faster on the menuing. That's what should happen. If I'm playing correctly, they should not separate. Ending theme piano. Do I want to drop anything for that? I guess I could use the mono fluid. Reapply buffs just because I'm waiting. Got nothing better to do. if it's better to normal normal heavy oh it definitely is see because normally if i do the if i do the heavy attack second it actually pushes them into the other room so i don't do damage small optimization there for me it's faster than normal normal actually even normal 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 is faster than normal normal heavy unless i think i can crit kill a normal heavy which might be possible all right we got invincibility again i guess this time i should probably do the proper strat I guess. Oh, you know what it is? I think I missed the initial shots there to speed it up. I was trying to think how I whiffed that badly on the damage. That makes sense. I think my positioning here is a little weird because I'm still getting like more than one thing targeted. But Excalibur is so busted that it kind of hides that. So I think I might have been able to kill one swing faster. Because I was whiffing like every third hit. Nice little Rafoe there to pop all the boxes. Again, I just love Yashmenikov so much in this run. Just so fast. I don't have to worry about risky HP strats. It's just like heavy, heavy, you're dead. Event egg, don't tease me with rares. Um. Right, Chad? That's just rude. <laughs> it's like if- it's like if the Chaos Sorcerer drops it. I guess I could have popped the ending theme earlier to free up space. That's not the right one. A little sloppy there. I gotta- I gotta clean up my movement in this room. I think sometimes I could just go straight and then turn hard left, but sometimes it just doesn't work. And I think it's just because like I have the, like little weird movements due to being on the controller that caused me to misalign. Might as well just kill Red Sinnoh. Honestly, I don't recall if it drops anything, but I'm just looking for Easter eggs. I'm waiting anyway.
Let's see, are we gonna see any more disappointing ray guns come at us? Yeah, I would just like to point out how much easier this is now that I have Red Ring virus armor. My opinion has not changed at all. This character is very annoying to deal with in single player until you have the gear. Then he's definitely really good. But like being knocked down by these Sinnohs is garbage. But having that raw defense from like literally top tier armor plus Red Ring means I could get away with so much more comparatively. I don't think my mind will ever be changed on that, given how rough of an experience it was playing like a near itemless Ramar. Because he didn't have the ability to like debuff, so he just kind of had like those awkward years, quote unquote, of usability. But once he found his own spread needle frozen shooter, things got a little better. Still not perfect versus mines. I definitely do not like doing mines with him. But everything else is fun. Reapply buffs. See if the boss cooperates. Rip the boss. Let's see, you're gonna go for your trap move? Let's find out. Oh, you are. Oh, it didn't happen this time. Whatever. Oh, well, that's awkward. How did I do it the other time? Hmm. I have to go back and watch my own clip to see what I did. I mean, I did the same thing where I pause trick, but clearly maybe it's a combination of like when I move and where I am relative to the target that causes it to do that. So it's not just the pause menu by itself, it's something else. Gonna go ahead and say no to them. I love that I wedge myself in the corner because it lines up every time, so I don't have to guess. If Chad is wondering why I do that side, it's so that I don't have to do any manual aiming. I just literally turn around. The Darkbringer is always there. A little bit of movement manipulation against the AI. Poor AI. I also love that for some reason you could shoot through the floor partially here. To get man into that by hitting the sorcerer like that. So I have to reapply my buffs once I get to the falls chamber. Move forward. Ooh, I was hoping that would kill. Wasted some time. I got greedy. Oh, multiplayer, they would never let me get away with that. Alright. Buff a little later. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna slightly stagger my timing. So coming in a little under the 10 minute mark, that's okay. I do like that these spawn in a set pattern. So like once you see it once, you just have to figure out which ones to shoot. Of course, you can get a little unlucky with some of the movement of them though. Speaking of unlucky, do you mind? Oh, I miscounted. I thought that was the last one. I was pretty close. <laughs> I had a change of fortune apparently though. Alright, this time I should be able to do some serious damage. 
Oh yeah, now now you land your shots, whatever. <laughs> no more double red miss in a row, whatever. That's what's supposed to happen on that phase. And I like Heaven Striker here because I could do a little bit of damage here. Uh, I'm in a bad position. Oh, slightly not enough. Oh, got a lucky pattern after that, though, to make up for it. That's a situation where if I had a slightly better Heaven Striker, I would have just burnt the sacrifice to try to get it. I know I don't have to heal because I have more than 900 HP. I'm just going to walk forward and shoot. Let's see what the boss does here. Ooh, that was big damage. Oh, dirty short cycler. Come on. That would have been a kill. I put that boss below 3,000. Oh, I missed time that. Oh, the sacrifice missed? Come on. Oh, that That's an example of when not having a good enough Heaven Striker makes a difference. This boss would have been at like barely 400 health right now. That is so unfortunate. Gotta reapply buffs. I'm shaking my head. That is so unfortunate. GG. One day chat. I can just imagine this character with a 50 hitter. Spam and sacrifice all day, doing like 4,500 plus. Also would be dead in basically two and a half combos. Sadly, not enough uh, fluid to use Rafoe there. Any consolation prizes? Let's see. Nope. So sad chat, we got robbed. I cleared it faster that time, so it's like just to show like one phase going slightly better in Worm Boss was like what eight seconds. If we didn't get short cycled, I almost guarantee you that would have been sub 13. Because I would have killed the boss before it did the soul link. Been like 1240 or 1245. Yeah, getting getting short cycle there is the worst feeling. That wastes so much time. Eventually, I want to learn movement to get through the ricochet shots in single player. That's something that I'm I'm sure is possible, but I don't know what the input is. Like, it's definitely something where you have to kind of juke them. Like, I went left and then went right when the first set went by, and that did dodge them for a while, but I don't know how to complete it. Like, do I do it again? Do I do, like, a circle? And I only get like one chance every 20 minutes or so. So unless I just feel like leaving it on that phase for a while. It's kind of unfortunate. See Dango's in the lobby. What would you like to do, Dango? I'll angry stomp near you. Hmm. You're down for anything? Hmm. Yeah, we could maybe just go for some eggs. Just seeing if anybody else is here. Or if there were people that wanted to level. Yeah, we got mop up operation one, sweep up operation. I guess we could do simple runs if you want. Let's go murder some uh, Tallow. Uh oh, I see Hell Green. I will say hello. Let's 
say we could start off with a little bit of a mix of things. I mean, now that we have three players, yeah, I know it's in Parameter. Fortunately, this time I figured it out. But I'm trying to think. Is there anything you would rather do in Parameter? I was thinking of doing uh, RBR. So I could potentially host this purple, I think, for Talos. Or we just do episode four. Just make sure I'm in C Bank 1. <laughs> or technically, if chat wants, we could do more TTF. I will leave it up to you. But I need to know. For me, I'm only looking for like five items in the game. Red Hilda Taurus for Magic Stone or Rista. Uh, sure, if you want. Let me swap characters then. Oh, you have a force. You're just trying to de-rust. It's up to you and Parameter. If you want to make the game, I can join. I'll bring in. I'll bring in somebody special since we have a force. No worries, Dango. So I'm assuming you mean Terrell's ego. Which is fun. <laughs> or Red ID TTF, honestly. That also kind of counts. But look, a quick Hilda Tor check. Yeah, we gotta start leveling up our ult characters. Once this raw cast gets red ring, I think I'm gonna be using him pretty much all the time. He's already a lot of fun. So much ATP packed in a ranger. So unbalanced. Thunka, thunka, thunka. Okay, do I have money? I don't have a lot of money. Let me go to the bank real quick. Did I fix my commands? Let's find out. I did. Good. Let's go retrieve money since I'm going to be using charge shot for like probably an hour and a half. It's kind of draining on the bank account. Okay. Two escape dolls, a little bit of healing. He's already max accuracy, right? Yeah, he is. Max luck. Nice. Got enough for boss items in case I need them later. Dango also not too far off from 180. Yeah, I was talking with, um... Chris off stream or Antares convoy from the Twitch logo. But basically, Terrell's ego is just so strong with lightning. It just, it's kind of insane, honestly. As long as we kill every Tallow that ever approaches our force, literally could just stack Thunder forever. And then whenever you have downtime, you stack a Foe. Because then, like, wolves die instantly to stack a Foe. It's just kind of unfair. Like it. And like the worst thing that happens, you clip like some of the other people that are semi weak to it. It's right back to lightning. It's so ridiculous. I like the little strats the force can do as well, especially in the room to the upper right, where you find that magic magic pixel, where essentially you can uh, hit the boxes that are in the upper portion of the arena to kill the Hilda Bears early. I really like them for that. This is probably one of my favorite quests to do as a force, honestly, overall. For episode one, specifically. So this is like one of the few times where if I, if I have to play force here, I'll be happy. I have to I have to kind of master the spot against the wall that they have to stand on. It's like, where is it at? I had to guess it's like right here where I'm standing. But like the 360 lightning will hit the box. Yeah, there we go. 
And then you can kill the Hildouts while fighting the whole room. I don't know, because I love that you can hit them from up there as long as you're against the wall. It's very silly. Yeah. That way you could just kill the entire room before we ever see it. It's so unfair. Poor Hildelts. Never stood a chance. Oh, Photon Drop from one of them. Something to look forward to later. Yeah, Force had some really silly tech in this level. They could technically also hit the uh, box or the other Hildelts in this room, but I usually don't bother with it. I just do the Hildelt check and leave. Although, I should probably use my freeze traps a little more. I think I'm just used to playing with, like, Ultra Gear. <laughs> Plus, we're not playing 4 player, so I got I gotta try slightly. And that's the kind of nasty thing here, is that the Moths also could just take Lingering Fireball damage. They don't have... I think they have some immunity, but not full, so they'll, they'll take a little bit. And then the nice thing, too, with being a force, at least compared to the cast, is that, like, when we're waiting for this wave to go down, if somebody puts, like, a telepipe near that red gate, whoever doesn't put it down, we can follow. So, like, for example, if somebody... Yeah, so if there's a telepipe there, then I could potentially telepipe when we're in the switch room, and then we could just use this telepipe to shortcut the level, and we could save, like, 15 seconds. I think that was my new favorite tech, because I don't think I ever tried bothering optimizing the quest a little more, but playing with a couple random people, I was like, you know what, let's experiment. And it produced some interesting results. And I think with them, as long as, uh, as long as basically the force is always slinging 360 lightning, I don't even need to bring Cure Shock. It's actually really stupid. The only thing we have to kind of help out with is a little bit of the Rappies, that's about it. So this upcoming room is kind of annoying, but a good 360 Lightning will stop a shock. This is probably the most likely room to shock me if I come in this normally. Yeah. I don't have like a super guaranteed strat in this room, because sometimes they do like the fast walk, power walk, and that makes them attack way more aggressively. If they do the slow one, there's no threat. So like if you stack fireball here, like the, the wolves will come in and take like 1500 damage. So potentially I could just ignore them because they're just dead. I just kill the Hildelts. Like it's actually so sick how much damage could be done here. Maybe one day we'll play with like uh double force in this quest or triple force. Because honestly, it's very silly what they could get away with here. And then I'm not really sure what the best strategy is for Force in this room, for example. Like, sometimes I like going to the left of the Force just because there's so many Talos on the right side, and everybody else can just kind of handle the right. So I'm going to let them deal with that. I'm going to take the annoying Talos, which the Force can't really deal with. So if he even wants to just hit through the wall, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, he's able to do so. Yeah, like right here, those Talos just kind of ruin his day if he's in the spot that I am in. But he can hit through the wall as long as he's against it. Or he could just be behind the hill belt and stunlock him. Honestly, both are pretty valid. I guess it just depends on where you are relative to the kill speed of the room. Now I just kind of clean up here. So here's an example. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tele... I don't have a telepipe. So we're going to rely on Dango to telepipe us. <laughs> I apparently did not bring any here. We'll take Dango's telepipe. And I'm going to use that to go into the red one. And look at that. Look at that time save. Oh, the switch wasn't hit. Look at that not time save. Let me... Oh. <laughs> Rip. Panic. Okay, so what should happen is... Imperameter can do the warp. I'm going to go back. Nobody else warp. And we should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to go through here. Then I could save this. We're good. See, we call that we call that a false alarm. I thought it through. And then since I'm up here, I might as well as just work back. Potentially, I could even go to the next room. I could start killing the other group. So if that does happen to you, at least you could just move on. <laughs> like, like I'm just gonna start the next room. Like, who cares? Right, we're gonna do the behind the switch thing. 
Let them deal with it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting when you have multiple players. I guess you kind of have to do... It's not quite based off a of feel. Like, somebody should definitely do this room early. If somebody goes into the other room early to, like, to purposely bait out the moths, sometimes that's better just for the sake of getting more badges. So, like, they kill everything but the moth nests, and then they just let them spawn while the rest of the team just kind of handles this area down here. We don't have to do it. I'm just opening it. I know how Cleve likes to do that strategy. I sometimes like to do it. It's more of a mood thing. The only thing you have to remember if you're doing this room is that you are done with this room when you see double Hilda Bear about where I'm standing. Until you see double Hildel, or excuse me, over there against that wall, there's more waves. So I can leave the rooms to the team for now. I'm going to let them clean up. I'll put some freeze traps for them. Let me go showcase the other strategy as they deal with that. This is what I was talking about where you can kind of kill them and then bait them a little bit. So as long as I don't shoot the moss too badly. I can let more of them spawn. That's it. I just let them spawn. Also, did the soundtrack really run out? Seriously? It wasn't even that long. Oh no, it just fell asleep. I was gonna say. That was ridiculous. So anyway, we could go assist as the moss spawn. Plus I need buffs again anyway. Okay. How many moths spawn? Oh look at that. See all the moths came back. So we could kind of bait this out a little bit. As long as I don't shoot the moth nests, it's just a lot of egg chances. Although I feel bad for leaving a uh, parameter down there. I'll go assist. I'll let Dango clean up everything up there. So I think he's on the double Hildel spawn, if I had to guess. So I think that's the last of it. Okay. So now we could just proceed with murdering. Yeah, see, they do stop spawning after a while. This is what I was asking Hellcleave about. Like, see how they're not doing anything? I don't think it's unlimited. If Hellcleave can repeat that, I would love to see it. Unless it involves, like, not killing any of them, then maybe. Sometimes as a force, I go against this wall to hit those two Hildelts down there for free damage. Otherwise, staying in the middle is probably safest as the force. It just allows the other players to kind of clean up around you. GG to these enemies. Mace of Adamant. I don't think I need those. So I have to go this way no matter what because the PD dropped for me a while back. Guess we could kill the boss. I don't remember if Red ID has anything interesting in caves. I know Purple does, obviously. Red ID does too. But I'm just thinking, does Red Lily have anything, or is it just like Heavenly Power? I don't recall. Worst thing that happens is after I kill Dragon Boss, I'll look it up. That damage was actually disgusting. Parameter hitting level 90, congratulations. Oof. So let's see. What is there in caves? Demolition Comet? That's it. Milkweed gets Red Sword. Slime obviously is Lavis Cannon, but there's not really. I don't think it's really worth doing that. Yeah, maybe we just quit out here. I don't know. I didn't see anything too enticing for Red Idea. 
Unless we're doing like a heavy slime quest. I guess we'll we'll GG. Just see a game called Egg Party. So if there's other people looking to join, other people looking to game, please let us know. Otherwise, we'll go on our merry way of murder. I'll blame me for not getting the Switch. I think it was technically my fault, because I wouldn't buy it first. I'll get it next time. Yeah, this quest and the fact that Lilies are weak to lightning are why I think I'm starting to value lightning more in episode one than the other elements for caves and forest. Like going full Tempest Cloak, Three Seals, Storm Wand is like, not, on not only is it really good at resisting EDK from Lily, but it like legit just destroys them in single player. The only annoying thing is you do have to swap out for Tallow, the kind of more like Grasshopper looking enemy or Praying Mantis looking enemies. But in multiplayer, you could basically stack Gafoe and nuke them. You don't even need damage bonuses for that. And everything else takes lightning damage. Picked up a Bind Striker, get out of my inventory. Not gonna tough his cloak, I'm not high enough level. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's like 130 or something for it. No worries about that in Parameter, and I'm, I'm not saying you go swap to it, I'm just saying for the audience at home looking to optimize their force, when you get up there in levels, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> and honestly, to some extent, if you're willing if you're willing to swap weapons, whenever there's no wave to fight, but you know enemies are coming, the unarmed will let you stack Gafoe faster, and then you can swap back to one as needed. So there's like little tricks without needing like end game gear, but I think three seals is pretty easy for players to pick up and that has just like a level 33 requirement, which is very low. So I don't want to hear that people can't do it in like very hard mode. I'll be like, please gamble better. But yeah, thanks to like the 360 lightning, it also kind of removes the need to get cure shock as I mentioned before. It's just so good. That's why I like bringing like at least a force. <laughs> Although I am tempted to do like double forest, so I'm not gonna lie. Just be like, oops, all forests. Yeah, I'm just trying to offer a little something to the, the group by having free straps. Trying to use them a little more. Stupid Tello. Yeah, that's like the only time you have to use Rebarda. It's like almost, almost a one spell quest. So I'll move on as they wait for Rappies. Another Mace of Adamant. Yeah, that Tallow right there kind of ruins the, the dreams of the forces. Yeah, we'll see the little wall strat into the hill delts dying and that ends up saving a lot of time because we don't have to like walk all the way to them and then and then wait for them to spawn they just kind of die it is a little finicky it's it's like not quite like the corner wall even i don't remember the visual for like where to specifically stand i think if i play it another like five times i'll remember yeah like, look at that lightning damage being dealt so we could do the other checks and the other doors, so I'm going to leave Dango to check those, for example, and I'll start the next spawn. And technically, like, if I see- oh, I forgot to get telepipes again. I'm dumb. But technically, like, if people are going back to, like, kill the hill delts and somebody falls behind, they could just, like, shout telepipe. 
is what I was gonna say and demonstrate it, but uh, oops. <laughs> I'm a cast. Yeah, this wave doesn't necessarily need a force to do it, and if they stack fireball, again, it's just like a lot of cheap damage. Look at look at the moth birds, they're down to like 214 almost instantly. And they take damage. So more importantly, there are more enemies that I think are weak to lightning than fire or the other elements. So like the moths, the hill delts, and one of the Booma types is weak to it, and that is a lot of enemies, and one of the wolves as well. So that is a lot of enemies dealt with with one spell. So I didn't really talk about it, but for people that are not aware, we're farming for a rare giant Hildebear. So as long as the team moves a little further forward, I think we'll be fine. Because letting these guys free roam is a little scary. And if that happens, I could sometimes freeze trap. Correct it if I see it. But more importantly, if one of those turns into the rare variant, instead of getting the common frozen shooter, which is really good for rangers, we'll end up seeing uh, my material there. We'll end up seeing a Bertista Stone, which could be used to make Rainbow Baton, which is potentially a high hit craftable slicer, which is kind of like a comfort weapon. Don't necessarily use it for the Confuse, but it is used for other things. Yeah, that guy's a fast walker. I gotta be careful with him. Good freeze there. We'll save some time. Rip the moths. So we'll probably take Dango's Telepipe later. But this time I'll hit the switch. Oh, look at that stack damage. Like, look at that. Like, in Parameter's level 90, he did like almost 2k to the wolves. Like, I don't even have to fight them. They're already dead. They're dead in like two lightning blasts, so I'm not gonna bother focusing them. And that's kind of like the freedom the force allows. You're just like, oh, I can do whatever I want now. Oops. Shotgun missed. So this time I'll go activate the switch, this time for real. I'll let Dango assist with the other enemies. I'm gonna deal with this room. I think it's like a courtesy, like I, even if I don't stay in the other room full time, I at least kill the Talos. So sometimes like if I'm playing Hunter or Ranger, I'll actually just charge Vulcan to the Talos and bleed. Because <laughs> I realize my damage is better suited elsewhere. I get it depends on my setup though. But I was doing that, uh, I think I did that on stream a little bit. But it is really funny. I'm like, there, the Force can now have that room in peace. Okay, so we'll take Dango's Telepipe. Excellent. Excellent, I'm in. And again, if we're playing with the fourth player, one player would actually just start going to the other door preemptively. I think I'll help the team here, since we're only three people. Ooh, that was such a clean kill. There are so many mine materials that dropped. So I, I guess if you're trying to get materials for a force, this area is amazing for it. I think I just picked up like four and I left one behind. Yeah. Yeah, typically what I'll do is at least one person should go over here to activate the wave. If I'm first in the room, I generally go for it, or I'll go for the switch. I guess it doesn't super matter. So I'm gonna help clear at least the first couple of waves in courtesy, and then I think I'm gonna kill the upper arena and spawn more moths. Just because that's more overall XP. And like, between a force and a hunter, their clear is fine. I don't necessarily need to assist it. I can throw down some free straps though. Oh, I used to pull my free straps. That was a mistake. I meant to keep one. So what I need to do is kind of bait them towards me. I'm actually going to use some fire traps here just to do some damage to the moss. That way more can spawn. So this time I'm going to try not killing them to see if this helps with their spawn rate. So again, I'm just getting kind of extra waves. Like, if I'd stuck with the group, like, yeah, they would clear the other room faster. But this is a lot of egg chances, potentially, that are happening right here. 
because every single one of these can drop a PD, every single one of these can drop a material, every single one of these can drop an event egg. So me killing like, I don't know, what is this, like 15, 20 extra enemies? It's also pretty good for XP. I did not mean to shoot the Moth Nest. Please stop shooting in the Moth Nest. Yeah, it's like to the point where we're almost at 100 XP a second. Did my shot go sideways to hit that on purpose? I swear I'm getting trolled. For more fire traps. There seem to be- maybe as long as I don't kill one of them, maybe then they're infinite? In which case... Oh, I did kill one of them. That's a shame. Killed it with fire trap. Hmm, maybe that's what it is. So the moment I kill one of them, they all stop spawning. Hmm. Okay, so since we're down to that, I might as well assist the group. Never mind, looks like they're done. I will not assist the group. But yeah, I mean, we got at least like 25 more attempts at eggs, and I'm sure they were picking up lots of random things. Just like a moth massacre in here. Let's go fight the hill delts. Oh no, they're already dead. Oh, the other thing I need to make sure to do. So the, the force can reach one of the four boxes, but the other three need to get popped as we go through. Technically those can have PDs, so like, it's not the end of the world if I forget to pop it, but I'll make sure walking by it to shoot it more often. So yeah, not bad XP per second. I mean, we're averaging, the way I see it is a quest is mostly worth it if we get close to like 100 XP a second. It doesn't have to be super crazy. If we're getting like 40 XP a second, it's not worth my time. 80 is like about average, like probably the least XP I would get and still play the quest. Whereas here we were messing around, we're not like a four man group and we're still averaging over 90 and we're about to get a boss kill. So XP per second is still pretty decent for people looking to level up like in Parameter who is now level 91. Congratulations, Parameter. So, that happened to me before with Tiggy. We actually skipped his phase. I did not hit him at all there, but the game forgot to reset his HP. I noticed that this has been a thing since the damage cancel patch. They did something to reduce it, but it clearly still happens. Because, like, how else would you explain dealing 4,800 damage that fast? Like. The humor is fast, but not like 4,000 damage fast. So it definitely did not have its full HP in that phase. Like it, it would have at least been like, bup, up, 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 bup, up, 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 dead. Like there would have been a delay, but that was literally, it didn't move. It just instantly went to the death animation. So yeah, I think the team's getting a handle of it. The D rust is coming off. Should probably go get telepipes. <laughs> but what if I but what if I was that good? I would believe it if you had dark flow. If you had dark flow, I go, hmm. Maybe. Is that that is pretty fast. That's just womb and then it's over. Forecast is forces Newmans. Thank you for checking. Oh, did you need a dark flow by the way, Dango? I don't recall. We have a game manager announcement saying, oh, kind of important note, those of you who enjoy flashing the... Oh, well, that's inappropriate. The popular simple chats know you will be targeted for ban. Well, that's not good to flash. Fortunately, I don't know anybody that would do that. I'm assuming they make it look like a butt or something. I don't know. I've not seen it. 
I mean, they they probably should be banned. <laughs> like, probably. I I don't want to. I don't think I want to know. I don't think I want elaboration as to what it looks like. Actually, it's like yeah, probably get banned. Yeah, don't let it turn into the banana boat haven of PSO2, please. Oh, we got more of the funky guitar. Angry stomp. Oh, you do actually need to give one, says Dango. Well, do you, do you have the parasitic gene flow and a caliber or missing a caliber or missing both? I do not mind helping you, Dango. Complete the humor. The completion also requires a red ring at some point. Oh, thank you for the buff. The trick is the ranger is to let the force go in front of you to make sure that they zap the hold out. <laughs> That's my strategy of not using, not needing cure shock. We call that the micro adjustments to the game play. Yeah, I, I'm not running a cure shock. So if I believe in my teammate, I'll be fine. And if I play bad, I get punished. It's easy. Speaking of play bad, what am I aiming at? So I do like from the perspective of like, since I played all the characters, at least for certain quests, I feel like the pain of certain classes when they do it. It's like, I don't think people that like main ranger or hunter, for example, would really know how awful the Tello are <laughs> in this quest for forces. Then you play a forest and you're like, oh. I totally get it. It's so horrible. So I respect that. I, I go for the Tello kills. I kill them before every other enemy. If I see them. I'm like, this one's for you, Force. Oh, nice. Hildelt's already spawned up there. Love to see it. Photon drop. Right there. Okay. I guess the bigger crack might be a visual cue. Thank you for helping with the visuals. For people looking to line up against the wall and kill the Hildelts. The dumb thing is, like, even if you're, like, Ramoral, you can even... Like, once the Hildelts are spawned, you can even kill them with a uh, 360 Lightning. Just, just pretend you're a Force the whole time. Like, I too can kill them from here. I'm a real character. So I'll let Dango do that as I move forward. Yeah, see that tallow? Force doesn't want to be here first. There's a tallow. I don't care about those. They just care about setup on the moths. And all these enemies also take decent fire damage. I guess I can also prep fire traps. That's what I should probably do to optimize my damage a little. That way when they spawn, they just take damage like that. So if my damage isn't quite there, there's my little tech tip for more damage. If you're looking for more ways to use fire trap efficiently, so yeah, I'll move up front because I know more of the enemies spawn down here. Oops, Rappy's got away, unfortunate. Yeah, as long as I play forward facing, what I can end up doing is like if I'm about here with other people, I could deal with the hill delts with like a freeze trap. Or if the force is here, they can also deal with it. Or Hunter potentially could be a good decoy for all the hold outs. There are a lot to deal with. So if I feel like I'm not going to land the freeze trap successfully, I will just back up. And be like, save me. Save me from the wall of shock. Okay, just got to make sure to hit the rappies. Want those event eggs. So, so far, zero rare enemies. Haven't even seen rare rappy. Feel like we're getting cheated. 
Yeah, this is another room as I said before. I just try to freeze it. Inevitably between the moss spawning and weird angles of enemies. Although it usually goes on a rampage. Be yeah, a dango. I don't mind doing some respective tomorrows. I think uh by Sunday it's gonna Ooh nice level up. By Sunday it's gonna be rare enemy. So that that could be on the short list of things to do with other people. I will say at some point I want to do an episode two, but it's not like a pressing matter. It's more to say we did it. If Tiggy's here, I'm more inclined to do it. Because I think Tiggy just got like a zeroed Vivian, but like what if we just got Tiggy like a 40 percenter? Also, I don't need to fight this room. Go the switch. Yeah, Hellcleave said that he wasn't sure if he'd be able to join. Unfortunately, I think Chris was not sleeping very well, so I don't think he'll join this stream. Wish him luck with sleep. He was up to like almost like 4 or 5 a.m. his time. It's kind of crazy. I was picking up items, so it's like, why am I not attacking? Take that, Rappy. I am through. I killed this group so fast that they, they might as well just move on. Like, <laughs> by the time they kill that Hilda, I'm already done. So I'm leaving. Ooh. What double weapon is that? Is that Sange and Yasha or Jizai? I'm gonna guess by the handles it might be Sange. But I could be wrong. It's been a while since I used both of them. Fire traps for the next wave. How's my money doing? Got 300,000 still. It is on getting Yasha. Look at that. I don't even play Hunter. <laughs> How often do you see me play Hunter on stream? I was surprised I knew that one. I was like, wait a minute. Let's go through meta choices real quick. That's a good brush up for the ultimate guide. I don't think if I even have one. I think maybe I do. I definitely have two Jizz eyes. I gave one away. Because I realized I wasn't going to play Hunter that badly. I was like, I'd rather the like 40 hit Jizz eye that I had go to somebody that would use it. I suddenly battle. Okay. So we're gonna leave the team with some happy little traps. Let's go try not to kill the other enemy too quickly. Ooh, I got a really unfortunate pattern from them. They were not grouped up. Hmm, it's actually a problem. No, 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 don't hit the moth nest, please. Hmm, this is actually really annoying. I got just kind of RNG, bad RNG movement. There's not much I could do about that. Another heavenly battle dropped. Picked up in a second. There we go. Just want to make sure. Okay, can I bring this away from the other enemies? Where can I lure them so that I cannot possibly shoot them? Maybe over here? Um, Operation Kill the Room is now in effect. Please stop orienting to face the boss. It's really making me nervous. There we go. Okay, so we've already killed more moths than normally spawned, so we're kind of doing it. The team managed to catch up. I did lose a bit of time on them, sadly. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep killing these. Come on, moth. Come on, egg dispensers. 
Give me your rare fodders. Okay. Time for them to die. Again, that's so many chances at eggs there. It's a 1 in 500, so you have to look at this, look at it this way. When you spawn like 50 of them, it's looking, looking like a pretty good chance of getting an egg just from them alone. Sadly, no eggs here. Yeah, the previous quest where I went up here, they were in a much closer formation where the other one was full screen and got stuck, so started zapping. Which is why I was saying it was unlucky. Because otherwise they just keep walking towards you, and that's fine. Mine, mine, mine. Nothing over there. by random still dragon let's see and we do enough damage that the game glitches and he dies it's all about the timing of it too it's like right as he's about to straighten up but before he stops moving i think the damage can get a little confused like right there you see his health looks a little weird there yeah see he died again i <laughs> i almost got to shoot him so something is just absolutely one-shotting him. I think it just happens like when we stack damage on him and the, like that exact frame, he never quite heals it. We're simply that good, that's fair. Poor, poor enemy. Valkyrie attained. So I think we'll do at least one more. We'll switch up what quests we do. Dango is bursting. Please wait. Hmm. Just looking at drop charts on my phone. Uh, would be nice to try. Oh, is it? Oh, it is even beat. Damn. I missed my window of opportunity. Always forget when I first start streaming, it should always be even beat now. I'm used to it being off by an hour from before the spring forward. Oops, so much for episode 4 lasers. I was going to offer that. There's only like 20 beats left. I mean, technically, if the team wants, we could probably fit in like a pod later. Pods aren't that long. Oh, the red barriers from the other day were 1 in 1,170. Those were the odds. So I got two of those in a row in Jungle North. Or the equivalency thereof. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's for Sky. For Pink ID, it's 1 in 630. Oh, that's not as bad then. It's still not great, but... Okay, we've had worse rare odds. Camera's just having fun. I'm like, we're all here. Come on, camera. Rip. <laughs> Look as we go through the scenic tour. It had to think about it. It's like, oh no, not this crew again. Sadly, I need to go down here. There's a mine material. 
And again, that helps with new forces. So yeah, if nobody's looking to potentially get some easy levels, we'll move on to something. How's my money looking? Not too bad. This character did get an okay amount of XP at least. Goal is to just use him on certain quests, although sadly because he's not green, purple, or white, I'm not using uh, TTF with him to level. Where am I aiming? There we go. Is that another mind material? Oh my gosh. It's not even drop rate up. That is so silly. Oh, there we go. Let's see anything drop of interest. Not really. Just try fluids. <clears throat> Yeah, if we had a fourth person, I would consider doing Lily Runs. It's just a little awkward with just three people. To cover the, uh, what's it called? The initial Lily spawns. Oh, oops. I'll go back. <laughs> what I get for looking at drop rates while walking. There we go. Free in parameter. Goodbye, random enemies. Rats and Parameter hitting 93. Just think you're like one heavenly HP away from just being able to do uh, episode 4 bosses, surviving laser, abusing invincibility. You'll be at the sweet spot of HP. Freeze trap like right there. Beautiful. Nice event egg. Yeah, that lightning right there is why I don't like entering the room first. Just sometimes he fast walks, sometimes he slow walks. When he slow walks, not a problem. Fast walk, no good. Switch. Dang, we'll protect the parameter from the, the villainy of Tallow. Oh, music, please. 
It's not a good time. I'm literally in the middle of a wave. Could have given me like a five second warning music if you weren't gonna play. We'll fix that in a second. Take the damage here. Final boss. I telepiped that time. Ooh, Red Saber. Congratulations. And that came with machine percentage. It's actually really good for a uh, photo roll. Hit percentage doesn't matter on that weapon. It's like the only exception to the rule. Where it's just like, no. Hit hit does, does not help you. <laughs> I mean, I, it technically can, but it just it's not needed for it. Mm, rest of 20. Uh, I think I got enough of those. with this. I'm going to move on. Come on. Good pattern. Oh, see, now they're cooperating. Why didn't I get this pattern last time? Yeah, now I can kill all of them before they spawn. There we go. That's that's what should have happened. I guess because I came at them at a weird time. I just got kind of unlucky. Why did it shoot backwards? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, well. Stupid charge shot. So we're gonna have them spew out a few more. So we're making some progress. We're luring them together. Team is killing those. We're now killing three additional targets. Helping a little bit with the XP per second. Oh, there's so many of them. I do like a couple normal taps here and there, and it's not too bad. The problem is, like, the character auto-aiming is doing that, and it's causing him to just randomly shoot them off. Bit unfortunate. Trying so hard not to kill it, and the game is trying so hard to kill them. There we go. That's a lot of extra moths killed. I think I did my job. And I got a photon drop from it. So I proved why we do this. There we go. Nice little happy photon drop. Oh, did they stop spawning? Okay. Well, at least we proved. I have not killed them, but I ran out. I think they shoot like three waves worth, I think is what I said. I, I might have said like four. I meant three or four waves last time we talked. Yeah, they're clearly not spawning anything else, so they can die now. We'll do a quick check down here, see if they're worth it. Oh. Yeah, still, that's potentially... What is it? 4 times 3, so it's 36 extra moths. On top of the ones that already spawn. So that's pretty good. Tallow, no. Leave our force alone.
Hmm, let's see, let's see. What other things can we do with rare enemy, or do we even bother? Could it, it could turn into a session of get Dango some items. <laughs> Operation respective tomorrow. Like there. I wonder if it's dead now. Let's find out. On well, that time it wasn't. Plunk. Okay. Let's... I guess do a couple of respective tomorrows. I could bring in a Hugh Newell. Blue ID. I think that's probably good enough. If there's other people that want to hop in, please let us know. Yeah, I just figure I'm probably like... I'm decently geared, but I'm not the most geared, I think, of the group. Oh, chat, hold on. We have somebody with a Twitch addiction. They were last detected on 3,878 channels, and they were watching 885 channels at once yesterday. No worries. Take a moment, Dango. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye to this person with the Twitch addiction. That is de definitely not a bot. I don't know what you're talking about. So goodbye, PSH underscore AA. Gone, but probably forgotten in about a session. Okay, so I'm going to switch back. This gives an excuse to potentially play some... Hunural, who I do need to level as well. So we'll do a couple of attempts of that, see what happens. See, what can I do to improve my damage? Alternatively, if we had a fourth player, I would arguably go blue force here, just to buff damage. But I think without a fourth person, I think I need to be damaged. Okay, the rest of the things just look like sound effects. So I'm gonna queue up the next Sonic song as we wait. Sonic Jump. OST. See, this is, it came out in 2012, but I won from 2005. Is there, is there more than one Sonic Jump? Maybe? So we'll listen to this for a little longer. We'll switch over. Look at what games are here. <laughs> like the smiley face. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch into this. So for bosses, I need... Oh, I have a Jaya. A 35 hit Jaya with A Beast is actually super good for this run. Smart Link, Heavenly Power, Centurion Ability, Adept. This character is very well equipped. Kasami Bracer. That's on the upper tiers, for sure. Love all the random materials in my inventory. What do I need? Oh! Oh, I need my uh, Dark Flow. Oops, actually, I need to switch characters first. <laughs> I was going through in my head what I need, and I'm like, I should probably bring Dark Flow. I could technically play without it, but it makes Dragon Boss... And a couple of things a bit more annoying than it should be. So let me go remove that from my Huka seal, and we'll get started. I forgot, I've been leaving it on her since I've been doing a lot of uh, off-stream Huka seal. The fact that she's almost 170, considering she was one level below the Hue Neural for a while, shows how much time I've been putting into her on like non-XP quests. See, she's only one quest from leveling. Okay. Let's pause the screechy guitar. No more challenge completed. Let's listen to Sonic Jump 2005. 
already a much more pleasant sounding soundtrack. The Sonic Jump is probably the dud, I would say, of the ones we heard so far. Let's see, I want to put away my other items here. Put away the Dark Flow. Check to see if my Berserks are in here. They are. Okay. Let's swap back out. I think that's all I really needed from them. Cutscene number one. It's apparently not a very long soundtrack. Given that the cutscene was just 10 seconds. Oh wow, that is a really short soundtrack. Well, we might listen to the whole Sonic Jump soundtrack before we start the quest. Not bad. Okay, let's make the game for everybody. Give Dango a couple minutes. Bopper hits to the music a little bit. Perfect. So yeah, so we have a open slot for people looking to join. Dango's taking a short break. Could gamble at corns just because, but I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get our dark flow out of here. Hmm. Do I try to land hits with my hell handgun? Is six more accuracy than a 50 hit ray gun? It's not bad. Let's bring in our vice. Dark flow. I got a gear soul on me, correct? I did. Disconnected, sorry to hear that. I think I'm good. I mean, ABC at least is good against Worm Boss. A charge gun year for normal crowds. Vulcan or Vice, depending on what I feel like. Yeah, this is the character that desperately wants that accuracy bonus. Because unlike the Huka Seal, who has a 15 ATA shield, she's got nothing. I was gonna say it's kind of quiet tonight, but that's fine. I'm still having fun. Hopefully, everybody here is having fun too. We'll move into. I guess I could start Charge Vulcan. Yeah, that's probably fun. So we'll do like maybe two RTs and then we'll do another assessment, see who's here. Give Dango the honest attempts at getting items that he needs. Almost did reach for the dream. I'm almost too scared to know what that quest is. I don't think I want to know. Given how a lot of the episode 2 quests go, I, I don't think I want to try a random <laughs> no map quest. I'm like, uh, might be, it might be a hard pass for me. Nice try, Blue Door. I remembered your VR. I did it. You should feel proud. Oh, I'm turning left. I'm immediately gunning down that stupid Lily. <laughs> I turned around and they were already gone. I was gonna say, I better have a last swan. I feel sad if I don't. Um, let me do this to force them to wake up. 
gonna do the quick little rappy chat. Nope. Okay, since I'm first, I'm gonna go to the next one. Team can handle the others. Rip Lily. It will be kind of sad if we get a rare enemy in episode 2 before episode 1, given how many enemies we killed in episode 1. But I feel like it's gonna happen. Don't mind me, just hitting the delete button on the crowd. Just doing a casual 1300, you know. Hunter things. Also, rip my money. It's Worm Boss first, so I don't think I want to lose HP yet. I guess it's more of a question if, if I should bring Kunai with this character to hit switches. I mean, we have a Ranger at least. But Kunai is sometimes useful. So, so far I'm liking the soundtrack a lot more than the other one, even though it's kind of short. Oh, last swan, you're so silly. the HP material, but the Dimate said no. Yeah, there we go. There's traps in this hallway. I don't think I've ever bothered dealing with them. I just pause trick and walk through. I'm like, go ahead and hit me. I don't even care. I dare you. Like, that trap was so slow, I dodged it. <laughs> like, come on. Didn't even react to it. Just move the way I normally move. Wait, was that the whole soundtrack? I know it was short, but wow. Switch it out in a second. But again, I did like that more than the previous one. Well, pardon me as I swap the soundtracks. Yeah, that was the entire soundtrack, huh? What's the 2012 version of this? So the same game name, I don't remember if we did this before. Thank you for healing me. Is this like a reboot or something? We'll thematically keep them the same. Hopefully this one is a slightly longer soundtrack. I'll get to check it when we're midway through the worm boss. Uh, I probably want this first. Now I'm going to rely on the team to burst. I might try to debuff the boss. Oh. Oh, that was really glitchy. I don't know if the stream saw that. That was weird. Oh, it crashed my uh, enemy reader. Cool. That really sucks. I think I'm going to reboot after this. I was wondering why it acted weird on me. So now I can't tell if I've debuffed. Huh. That is what we call unfortunate. Like, I do actually check that, so that really sucks. Plus, now I can't see floor drops anymore. That also really sucks. So rip floor drops, I guess, because I'm not going to find them. Uh, I'm going to shoot it a little bit, and then I'm just going to jaya it in the face. 
Jaya time. Oh, I think it died. <laughs> oh, or not, or not. Close. It it says it's invisible health though. What? Oh, it's just oh, it's just being it was just being cheeky. Okay. Oh, some of my items can't. Okay, so my item reader is working, but just my enemy reader broke. Okay, that's a little less terrible. How long is this soundtrack? 25 songs, that's not too bad. All right, here's the tech. So we, we, we look at the little strip, and then we go, that would be too easy. And then I think it's right here. I think this is the optimal place to stand. It's definitely not that close to the strip. That that much I know. And Parameter might be in the right spot. We'll find out who's more accurate. It's definitely not like within a character width. It's like somewhere between two and three. So I'm gonna hold forward. We get to find out the optimal distance. So I'm holding that forward. How did they get off the boat before me? That's that's not fair. Wait a minute. Wait, was I desynced or something? How did you get off the boat before me? I was holding forward. Oh, game. Okay, as long as my item reader still works, it will be a little sad that I can't tell if I've debuffed, but I'm just gonna have to live with that. Parameter shooting the switch, thank you. Yeah, I guess that delay between the cutscene was the enemy reader crashing. I guess it's because sometimes its health is in like the negative nine millions. It just overloads the reader. Bonk. It's been a while since I've seen the reader actually crash. Kind of unfortunate, really. It'll be behaving itself in RT for quite some time. Hmm. Guess I should walk forward and Rebarda to hit the Del Saber. How did it hit me from there? Chat, did episode 2 Del Sabers are so broken. Did we have this conversation before on stream? <laughs> that thing was not even remotely close to me and that hit me. That hitbox is busted. I remember seeing notes about it when they were talking about updating Anguish that they removed it. And I was like, man, they left it in the vanilla. Hmm. That hitbox actually makes no sense. Welcome, Hellcleave. Is there anything you wanted to hunt today, Hellcleave? We're messing around a little bit. We're trying to get Dango a nice upgrade, potentially. And I was thinking episode two at some point, but not RT. There we go. Two health looks like the appropriate amount of health. <laughs> exactly the HP total I want to do with the boss. Time to embrace the dragon. Ha, huh, you can't hit me, I have invincibility. Well, that means I also can't see my accuracy on the hits. Ooh, that actually really sucks. That I use more often than the enemy reader. Anything is fine, says Helpley. Okay, we're gonna do that, uh... Signal quest. We have to dodge the spirit orbs. <laughs> The one that people should only play for the very first floor of the quest. Everything else is kind of trash. So yeah, Hulk Leave. Unfortunately, the enemy reader broke on the worm boss. So big F in the chat for enemy reader. Oh. My spell order is not correct. I see why I did that. I don't think I like that. I'll fix that later. 
Yeah, if I had Red Ring, I think I would go for the Dark Blow Strap to hit these enemies, but let's heal back up. <sighs> Slow-mo, please. I love that Bardo works on that. Ooh. Now it's testing my game knowledge. Do I remember what my accuracy is versus these enemies? Well, that's a that's a bad feeling. I'm trying to remember this across multiple characters. Found a 20 hit Jaya. I guess that's okay. It at least has a beast. I'll go pick it up. Oh, I actually don't have room. That's awkward. Um, buy mono grinder. Well, it, well, it's only twenty percent hit. Actually, if it's only twenty percent hit, let me just jump it. If it was thirty, I might have used it. Nice level up. Dango getting closer to Red Ring levels. All I know is that if I do anything than double normal with last one, it will not hit. Maybe the third heavy hits there. Its enemies are just too evasive. How was your day, Hellcleave? Hopefully it went well. So yeah, I think at this point I just need to level my character, so I think I'm gonna be pretty serious on the grind for XP week. Because I have uh, four red rings I don't have equipped, and three characters that can very easily level into it. And I can decide if I really want my 200 Phonuma to have it. Rained out of work, so the norm. I was gonna say, there was a there was an earthquake where I was at, so that was fun. Went for a little rocky ride today, chat. I wasn't super close to the epicenter though, so it wasn't like... Wasn't too bad. Rip the geese. Yeah, normal, normal heavy kick all those. That's not too bad. Well, if it hits. Speaking of Tiggy, welcome Tiggy. Bombing out to Sonic Jump. I was thinking at some point for you, Tiggy, we would go for Vivian or something. Oh, this is crazy. Don't think I've been in one. Uh, I've been in like three or four. They're not like super common near me. Uh, hold on, I should have drained my HP. My bad. Yeah, take your time, Tiki. We're gonna do a couple other on a related runs, I think, first. I think I do want to do this. So since I can't tell if I'm debuffing the Griffin, I don't think I'm gonna debuff the Griffin. Thanks to the enemy reader being gone. Otherwise I would have probably done that. So I hope a bazooka shot and dark flow will be good enough to wound it. And then I'll have to just guess how much HP it has. Hope I hit it. Got Cleo. Oh, it's probably the most passive aggressive message I've seen.
mods are out today, apparently. What is going on on my screen other than... Uh, wow, that really sucked. I couldn't see the tornado due to the camera angle. Actually really sucked. Rip the team. Diggy says she's made the same exact message on several occasions. Gotta love you. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Will it happen? Will I break the 50 something streak of no? Nope. It's never broken. <laughs> like, chat, like, wh what are the odds that I have gotten literally more red rings and parasitic gene flows than a single Gal Griffin wing? Isn't that sad? Like, how do, how have I statistically not hit one? I just, I don't understand. <laughs> just, I don't get it, chat. I feel like I'm being trolled by the game. We have to be going into like statistical anomaly range. Got a second one drop, I've never seen a Griffin drop. That's not just me. I swear, like it just doesn't spawn. It's not even like a high drop odd or like a bad one, I mean. <laughs> it's like one in one in one ninety eight. Yeah, get that in like thirty runs. Oh, this one, like ninety plus Griffins and counting. Holy terrible luck. I mean, granted, this one is without rare boost, but at least fifty of those runs were with rare boost. So it's not even the normal lot of it to drop. Several of which were during the anniversary and Christmas events. Yeah, I, I would say earthquakes are not super common near me, as I said before. I'm probably more in like a hurricane area than anything else. It's not great. I don't get hit hard by it, but just the fact that there's just so much rain in general really sucks. Seriously. Like, I don't, I don't have a hell weapon on me, so I'm like, I cannot kill that thing quickly. I was hoping it did not need to Zalore it, but it was being stubborn. Oh, already dead. With the little switch. Put the box up there just because. Not that I know how to reach that. I did manage to get Mag Blast, so I think we could chain it when we're all the way at the end. I out of range? What's going on? There we go. Silly last one. Nice kill. I'm ready to get run over by uh, a very rude Del Beater, which I still don't know quite how to dodge. Other than like, it seems to always hit me if I'm in the entrance. Like, what if I go over here this time? Will you hit me from here? Well, I'm, or it could just not target me. We'll never know. I have been at the splatted. Oh, the recon knocking me down was so rude. Screw these boxes, I'm not fighting them. They could keep them. I can start charging, I could have demoned it. It, w it was deciding to just kind of mess with us. I had a feeling. I was looking for the Tiggy emote. I'm like, oh, this seems like a Tiggy song. What is this song called? Actually, not bad. 
Mechanical Zone 1. It's not a very long song, though, sadly. Only 44 seconds long. From the 2012 version of Sonic Jump. Although, we gotta go back to some of the other ones. I've been bonked. So many bombs. Leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Chat dealt with them for me. So we'll do one more RT into something. Maybe we'll do something in episode two, whether it's just uh, one of the virtual quests or uh, Cal's Clock Challenge or something. I didn't technically have to wait there. Get last second buffs just so we can make it to the end. Box. Thank you for the heal. I'm not even gonna attempt to figure out where that robot is without the enemy reader. Like, nah, I don't even know what its HP total is. No thanks. Oh. Don't. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I might revert it a little later with the techniques. what we're gonna do we're gonna have a little group huddle as long as you have at least 30 meter you could donate oh the other one was still alive rip nice nice so i'll do my layula and i think if somebody dolphins somebody angels then you're good I'm going to say using to help with the timing. Perfect. So fortunately, I know that this boss can be debuffed hilariously off screen. And also we can shoot the boss from hilariously off screen. So I'm trying to decide if it's worth keeping Last Swan for that or just go for Charge Vulcan. Maybe go for Charge Vulcan here. So e even even level 20 debuffs can reach. I think even 15 might be able to. I don't know why. I guess the debuffs can work like infinitely vertically or something. It's like you don't even have to be like remotely close on this little debuff. I'm gonna mash it now. Unfortunately, I can't confirm visually. It's like within like two uses it'll get hit. Oh no, it got debuffed. Ooh, dodged my shots there. That was a bit unfortunate. Uh-oh. We're in the no fun zone pattern. Oh boy. This is the most annoying one. Could you do the one where you stay still? Oof. Well, unfortunately it stayed still full screen. Do a little bit of damage here. So yeah, the goal is they can set up for the feet of the boss, so hunters can get again in multi-hit pretty easy. Unfortunately, since I'm player one, I have to go left. So 
I might rely on other people to debuff, but I'm definitely going to charge Vulcan for sure. Yeah, like, look, look, at, look how far I am. Actually, you know what? Let the boss orb come to me a little bit. That'll let me get into position faster. Maybe that's the better strat, just to wait a little bit. <laughs> we can actually hit the boss. Oh, did the music stop? That's unfortunate. Ooh, got scared I'd have to do something there. That's the real fear. So, goodbye Cosmic Zone. Let's go to Sonic Speed DX. Listen to what that soundtrack is like. Uh, can't find it. Next game, Sonic's Casino Perk Poker, of course. Sonic Casino Music? I think this is the real one that I want. Resta, not what I'm looking for. That's not... I think they're just doing generic casino songs that are in there. <laughs> yeah, I got Resta level 30. I'm not interested. I have so many of those. Let's switch over to Mario at the Olympic Games and Sonic. Oops, I need to talk to you twice. Wow, double S rank, you did it. All right. All right, so I'm going to quit game so I can fix my enemy reader so I can actually also see what my shots are like. I definitely whiffed a couple hits because I couldn't tell what was effective. I should probably put these materials away so I can hold more. Probably sell my dye fluids. I don't really need those. Dye mates and trimates are fine. Okay. So let's get our money. Quick game. Force the game to recognize that I should have an enemy reader. So yeah, you got a couple minutes. I gotta reset some things. My goal is to hopefully level with this character today. But given we're only getting 130,000, I don't think I'm up for three RTs. Two RTs I could do. Three RTs, mmm. That, that's pushing the boundary a little bit. But I would not mind doing more episode two. Since I think that's like one of the few times I'll do episode two, and it's mostly just to do temple. My name is Lemmy Solo. Nice. Oh, there's actually a lot of people in the lobby. Game is up. So still forces Newman's. So while we wait a little bit, let's talk about what we could do next. I did not realize there was a Heavenly Arm on Mill Lily in Episode 1. Not that I'd ever do it. Just gotta find it funny. Yeah, regular Rappies, give that. The Egg Rappy could spawn in theory. 
So I want a quest with potentially a, a lot of lilies or rappies. There's two quests that I can kind of think of that don't involve the other quest. I think it's the maximum attack EVR. I think it has a little bit of both. It only has 17 rapies. What's the other one that has rapies? Uh, double check. Sweep up Operation 5. That was the other one I was trying to think of. Or I just do the first three rooms of Lost Shock Rifle or Cal's Clock Rifle. Debating what to bring. You got some time, Hellcleave. The problem with the sweep up is I just never like the time limit quests, but technically it's not bad. It has 30 rappies, 29 lilies. So I guess in theory we could try it out just to show it off on stream. So we could do sweep up operation 5, then do maximum attack EVR, which has bosses, so we could kill the boss real quick for bonus XP. I don't feel like doing story mode to do the other ones. And yeah, as I said before, Cow's Clock Challenge is really good, so potentially with two people with really good gear, I could maybe bring in somebody that does damage. <laughs> so I'd probably be the Force, because I'm probably the less geared Ranger of three people. Well, we'll do that. Oh, Cleave has arrived. Welcome, Hell Cleave. I wonder about saying hello, may I join with force? Uh, sure, we could potentially rotate some people in. Is there something you're looking to get in particular, Edward, Nygma? I guess I could also call you the Riddler, I suppose. Cleave says, let me do one, I'll jump out. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you're looking for anything in particular. I know forces potentially, if you have a Fomar, I'll want the uh, Rambling May and Vivian, for example. So yeah, we'll do one quest with the current group, and we'll have uh, Enigma join us. No worries, Dengo. I almost said reach for the dream again, Chad. You have no idea. My finger hovered the button, and then internally I went, no, <laughs> don't select it. Don't you dare select anything else in episode two. So yeah, potentially if we get covered, pink ID. I think I'd still have to bring a pink ID. I don't think I have a pink ID melee class. I'm just thinking. I see what I did there. I think I'm just... Instinctually, I don't need the basic techniques. I get why I did it. It's like a cool theme where I have like the basic techniques and they upgrade into the more complicated ones. But then I'm like, my fingers just want to go to the advanced techniques because that's how I have my forces. Like if I play this character for a while, I definitely like this layout. But I think when switching characters, I think I got to simplify it a bit. As cool as the button concept is, just need something more consistent for me. Uh... Oh. My enemy reader. Did I not quit the game? Did I just go in lobby? I'm feeling a little tired, so I think I forgot to quit the... I think I swapped characters, but forgot to reset the enemy reader. Okay. Well, I will definitely need to quit out regardless on the next one. My bad. The only thing it kind of impacts is accuracy and finding invisible enemies to see if they've actually died. The rest, I kind of have a feel of what I need to do. Yep, 
Yeah, I have a pink force. I don't think I have a pink ranger. I thought about making a pink ranger. I don't think I made a pink ranger. We have like a couple old ones. I definitely have a white ID ranger for sure. As well as a horse. Goodbye, Rappies. Do not need you. Hmm. What could I do? I guess the sweep up operation isn't too bad. We'll experiment a little bit. See how we feel about it. Hell's Clock Challenge is like, I like it on the lower difficulties. I don't like it so much in Ultimate. I was gonna say, I'm assuming your grass assassin hit me, because I can't imagine what else froze me. Power materials for later. Uh, well, <laughs> time to see if the game behaves itself here. I have a feeling it won't. Okay, this time there's no delay in my cutscene. But the thing already crashed, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Oh, oh, you thought you could get by me? Nice try. I'm gonna debuff part of you. I'm gonna mash the debuff. Let the team do damage here. There we go. I guess that's one of the few examples of where I should probably bring Cleo, just so I can attack faster. Because unfortunately, the way the boss is kind of set up, it's very easy to not hit all of it with the raw moral. Like, that much I know from experience. I know that if I only do it once, it's only going to hit half the worm. But maybe, maybe increasing the debuff range actually matters there. Especially when we have people with the uh, Cannon Rouge. <laughs> Man, could you imagine if you could have Cannon Rouge the boss while it was down there? How much better that would have been? was big damage. I participated, chat. Look at that. I giant. I did damage. <laughs> I debuffed and then I nuked it. Alright, we're gonna have the who could get the closest game again. Alright, so let's see. It was something like we look at that, then I look at the bolt. Maybe I stand on the bolt? It's definitely not where Hellcleave is. I, I, I will bet money it is not where Hellcleave is. I think where the bolt is exactly lines up with the center. I'm gonna guess right here. I I am like 95% confident I am the closest one so far. Hellcleave might not be able to even board. See, he's kind of far to the right. Yeah, look at that. Almost perfect alignment. Almost. Hellcleave got different varying hits there. See, chat, that's when you know you played episode 2 too long. When you're looking at the rivet of the raft to determine the fastest way to leave the raft. <laughs> you're just like, you got, I'm just like, listen. <laughs> okay, I have, I have to put myself to the left of the rivet, and then I would have been perfect. I put my foot on it. I need to be, like, a little bit further. That's my visual cue. Perish, Golgus. Zigzags. They defeated me this day.
Uh, let's let's see if I get hit by that stupid jump arc from the Del Saber. Oh, I didn't jump that down towards me. Regenerate gear. I guess I'll pick it up. Probably just put it in my bank. Also, I love that it's BP dot dot. Did you notice that? The item prompt was wrong. Uh-oh, chat. There's still typos. Go report them. <laughs> Just kidding. It probably just had a period from the uh, item reader. I am glad they standardized some of the items, item names, though. So that way the items aren't just like shouting at us in all caps. I remember some of those. Oops, forgot to drain HP. There we go. Oof, 35 hit. Damn. We gotta get Dango a good one. See, I'm just embracing the dragon. Like, I got mag invincibility. I'm going in. No fear. Leaping in the air. Don't care. gonna cry real quick I was about to say I saw the ticker along the top and I'm like no way skip man with 60 total hit nice or help leave Rescue Hulk Lee from his own luck. And Barista all capitals, yeah, pretty much. I think, like, Swordsman lore was also spelled wrong originally. Dark Flow and Bio, oh no. Ooh, I'm liking the vice just for its accuracy. Yeah, see, this is definitely better than the last one. I should stick to this. It, because it has 60 hit, it is basically not missing the normal power power. That was the problem earlier I was having. Rip enemy. Ooh, but it could barely knock. Okay, so I might have to berserk one of those, maybe. Uh, this time I was ready for the slow mo. Grip the enemy. Is this just the whole song? Hold on. <laughs> I don't need five minutes of that song, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, is it not gonna do anything else? Wait a minute. Uh, let's train our HP early. This time I'm paying attention. second read chat. There we go. I'll cleave going for the optional area to the right. Respect that. Please, like, I will check this box. I will murder the robot. Nothing will stop me. Can almost land power, power, power. We're getting there. Maybe with red ring that'll work. Yeah. Does blue get trust plate? I didn't think it did. Maybe it does. 
I know purple purple definitely does. 100%. I know there's at least one other dress plate ID. <laughs> Me and Dango are on the, the vice plan. Please don't shoot me with bolts. It would be so sad if I die. There we go. Enhanced buff range. Another 40 hit ray gun with no special. This is so sad, Hellcleave. <laughs> Just, they're so close to being good. I think it's the third or fourth item on stream so far. Just like, it's so close. It just needed anything. It would have been fine. Time to heal up for sure. A little bit of damage there. With the tornadoes that don't show up in the minimap, by the way. I kind of wish they did. They sort of do, but not really. They take a little bit of time. Usually if I see it on the minimap, it's too late. You've been struck. <laughs> Perish. Okay. Goodbye, Gal Griffin. Let's see. Will the streak finally end? Will I see Gal Griffin's wing? Vote no. It's probably best to vote no. Reapply buff since I'm waiting. Tear jerker ending chat. Gets you every time. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find Psycho Wand before I find that. 45 gun year with no special. Come on, game. Now now you're just being mean. <laughs> Where's where are the specials? so sad like that like those weapons are good like if they had charge both of those would have been fine it's so sad i hide everything that doesn't have hit so i don't get to see the full list i'm sure i probably found like a, a 90 native or something just never knew about it because it never had a hit it's so sad though Two weapons would have been a decent upgrade. I mean, for the gun year, having a 40 machine would have been kind of sick. Yeah, exactly. If, if it doesn't hit percentage, I don't watch it. I'm like, it's it's very likely, maybe not a maybe not getting a hundred, but I I've probably gotten a 70 or an 80 on another set. I've definitely seen an 80 hit before on like a complete garbage sniper with no special. It was like thanks game can you imagine it can you imagine like an 85 hit hell sniper chat like how good that would have been like oh, never miss <laughs> they're like what if i want a special 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 hmm shaking my head I'm starting to see more weapons with hit percentage. They're just not good, is the sad part. Okay, I don't need to hear this song on loop. Word ceremony, you don't need to be five minutes long, I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with it inherently, it's just when they put the loop that long, like why? apparently the third place music 
Like how unexcited it sounds. Look at that. I actually knew where the the, the robot was briefly, and now I have no idea. <laughs> I felt in my heart where it was. Tiggy's ready whenever. Yeah, we'll see who rotates out. I know how Cleave will drop after this one. Let's see, will it charge me? Nope. It is seriously confused me. Wow, that is so rude. So we'll do a mix of things, maybe get a Vivian, maybe see Easter Raffi. Might as well say we went for it on stream once. Mm. Oh. Oh, is it Yun Chang on Morphos? I was thinking about that last time. Okay. Good to know. I was like, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Makes sense. I agree. I was trying to- I was actually thinking about that in the previous run. Yeah, I don't know about Dressplate. They- they might get Dressplate. Purple definitely get Dressplate, but there's one that- there's one where, like, they get one on a robot, and then there's another ID where I think it gets it on another robot. It could be Blue ID that does that. <clears throat> I'm not going to rule it out. There's definitely two IDs that get it, and they're not that far away. In fact... Let's take a look right now. Blue ID... Dress play. Oh, no, 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 no. Barrel, barrel gets V5. Okay, it's V501 for Barrel, which I think is fine. I think I'd still go for that. Which is the other one that has the drop? Green ID gets it also on Barrel. Hmm. And then V501 is on Spickle for Yellow. Okay. I couldn't remember. I was like, what? It, I think that I would still go for it, honestly. V501s are still kind of useful. Like, if, if I'm not doing episode 2, like, they're, they're good enough. Like, I don't need it on episode 1, episode 4. So yeah, maybe I'll do that going forward. Yeah, uh, whatever. Die, Rico Box. Okay, they they need to learn how to trim these songs. This is not a five minute song, I'm sorry. Are all of them literally just like this? Who did the soundtrack editing for this? Fire them. <laughs> these should be like minute 30 songs and they would be completely fine as is. Sadly, I do not have a hundred. Because I was not getting hit when I needed to get hit earlier. I'm pretty close, though. I think I need to get hit three more times. Three more times from now. Come on. Two more. Yeah, I'm pretty close. I'm at 98 now. Yeah, the problem is, like, I normally get hit on purpose in the other room when I'm playing four-player, but I was, uh, messing with the songs. Okay. So I'm gonna go in the corner, because that's my safety area, and I hate the hallway in this game. So I'm gonna say, using Myla. I'll put the timing. Okay, we'll move away from the fourth place music. Let's listen to a new song. Try to vice kill this boss. 
see how it goes. Technically more damage and 10 more accuracy than my Charge Vulcan, so maybe it'll work. I mean, that's a lot of accuracy for the third hit for landing it. Uh, so I'm going to spam debuff a couple times, and then chat might as well just keep firing, even though they can't see it. If you have a vertical weapon that's not a Vulcan, it goes crazy high. There we go, got it. Oh, so close. Rip Hellcleave. He died for the cause. And in my defense, I did Berserk. I committed. I did I I didn't even check it out. I, I full went berserk. Uh, so I'm gonna let the boss orb get a little closer to me so I could finally hit this thing. We're gonna go like here-ish, maybe? Yeah, that's that's a lot closer. Because that way I can actually hit it, like, a second sooner, which does matter in DPS, I think. Although we do have a super donation, so maybe not in 4-player, but in 3-player that matters. Oh, somebody hit it early. Uh, Rip me. I skipped all. I almost hit it early, but somebody hit it before me, so it was not me. Almost. I almost hit it too early. I was a little greedy. Rip my buffs. See, so yeah, at least I got closer. Couple more levels, get my ATB up a little higher. Dark Flow will start hitting for big damage. No worries, Dango, it happens. I like how my characters leaned over like, oh, are you okay? That's like the, the phrase I think of. <laughs> Just very condescending. That's what I feel when I see that. Oh, nobody got it. That's a shame. <laughs> I got a dye fluid. All right. Just what I needed. So the songs are not bad, but man, these are not trimmed correctly. Yeah, like this is like an eight minute song. I'm like, I'm sorry, it is not an eight minute song. It's like a one minute loop tops. I'm shaking my head. Mm -hmm, get the reports. Okay. So I'm definitely going to quit out of the game this time for sure. I'm going to get my money. Guess I could put away my vice plus dark flow. Yeah, that, that 60 hit vice is actually putting in the work. That thing is a lifesaver for being better than the Vulcan, both in damage and accuracy. Put that thing away, put that away. Put away the regenerate gear in case anything uses it later. What am I doing in terms of materials? Almost kept HP. And I think I kept on PDs, right? Damn, I did. So we've gotten 10 Easter egg events, or Easter eggs so far during the event. It's not a bad start. Done for night tonight, says Imperameter. Thank you, Imperameter. So it sounds like it'll be Dango, Nigma, me, question mark, <laughs> possibly Tiggy. So let me go ahead and quit out of the game completely. Since oh maybe I quit here but didn't actually like hard quit. That's probably what I did. So we're gonna force our enemy reader to come back. I'm gonna play Pink ID. Where's white ID better? Let's double check. Always go 50-50 on this. I guess if I want Vivian and Rambling May, pink is better. I don't think I get both with white ID. White ID still gets one of them. I thought. Oh, or actually, no, they don't. Oh, no, they do. They get Rambling May. No, but I want Vivian. Yes, I gotta play pink ID. 
Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna host. So it'll be potentially Tiki, Dango, myself, Edward Nigma. Sadly, I don't have many pink IDs. I'm gonna have to bring in a force. Not that she's bad at it. At least she has some ATP. Disc of Brave Man, R Rambling May, Slicer Fanatic. Never mind, she's already equipped. Why even why even second guess? We'll do Ziggy. King. Ultimate, make sure we're in episode two. We are. Perfect. So we'll do a we'll do a couple of quests, see how we feel about them. I know the VR quest is kind of fun. I used to do that when I was doing my own hunts. I usually stop before the boss, but given that we have a good team, we might as well just kill the boss for XP. I don't remember if Pink ID boss gives anything interesting other than d roll a shell. No, just d roll a shell. It is on Fodra. We're in block two. Yeah, block one is more... We, we let the people that normally hop in in, like, randoms go there. We get more consistent games here anyway. Wow, 193. That's a pretty high level. Ooh, RN with the orange outfit and the orange ID. I respect that. So... Which... Was it sweep up five that I just mentioned? One second. Yes. So we'll try this quest, see how we feel about it. I probably won't like it more than the temple VR. But I figure, you know, try to broaden our horizons a little bit. Pretty much should just bring out Disco Brain Man the whole time. Maybe Slicer. Ooh, wow, it started immediately before everybody was in. That kind of sucks. Anyway, time to kill things. See, I could do my normal heavy, heavy special. I don't even have to special cancel it. Pretty high number of enemies at once. That's a good sign. You know, if a time limit quest at least has like decent enemy density, that's not too bad. Not sure where the moth fists were though. Thought they were in here. Maybe they're just spawning up ahead. Yes, that appears to be the case. I guess it's fine. That's one way to get a around their slow deployment. Spawn them early. Although not a fan of these kinds of rooms. We're gonna go ahead and zap the room, so that way even though there are a lot of obstacles between us and them, we should be fine. Camera, please. That Rappy died already. Don't need to worry about that. One thing we get out of the small hallways. Oh, where's Red Arm? Nice. I'm sad they got rid of the Monster Park Collector. That was in the, the badge uh, and in quest for the anniversary event. So I definitely, I basically just got rid of almost all of my monster parts as soon as that happened. I had a character that had like legitimately like 300 of them, and I'm like, honestly, like almost none of them are used in the plating still, so I have no regrets with that.
And I gave away the canes. That was probably the only one that I had in, in abundance. I gave Tiggy or somebody like that in the chat. They're asking if I had spares. Or maybe it was uh, not Tiggy. It was... It'll come to me later. Heal up there. Get rid of those. Might have been hoop wheat. Get rid of these. So close to killing. Fair Sorcerer's Cane. I probably had them. I don't have them anymore. Rip Merlins. Yeah, I had basically all the forest, caves, ruins. Of episode one, I had like all of those enemy parts possible. Some of them were used. Hmm. This quest does really have a lot of waiting. I would have thought they would have spawned them in a little better. Kind of unfortunate. Here's a decent group of enemies to fight. Absolutely murdering the enemy spawns. Oh, now I understand why I don't why I didn't do this quest. There's nothing to do with the time limit. I mean, I don't like the time limit. Oh, did they did they do like double lily or something on the other side of this? I remember there's something obnoxious where there's like I killed one lily down below. Maybe that's what it was. They just put lilies on like the far end where I couldn't do anything about them. Yeah, like I'm getting trolled right now by the uh, lily that's down there. But this time I have Rambling May, so I guess... Okay, so here, here's the double lily. There we go. Okay, so this is the, the quest I was thinking of. Sometimes they use this spawn pattern. All different areas. I don't appreciate this spawn pattern. Confused where they spawned for a second. I think we're good. There's a warp here in chess. I might as well just blow these up. Oh, I like that little ambush when you go past them. The fire is on. It's disappointing. Being a little cute with the spawns, but that's fine. Well, these on the far side, huh? Fortunately, I can snipe it with the Rambling May at least. the rappy some of those one music please they really need to trim these song lengths down <laughs> i'm thinking of looking up another version the five minutes is ridiculous silliness chat makes me appreciate the people that know how to cut the music properly
the Rappy there. The other Rappy with Kafoe. <laughs> Froze the hold out mid shock. I basically saw the enemy. I saw Tiggy raise his guns, and then the enemy disappeared. Performed a magic trick. <laughs> like the flowing sword. Right before my very eyes, exactly. He's like, can you can you walk up can you walk up to this uh, hill delt? Confirm it's real. Isn't suspicious. And watch it disappear. <laughs> Just gone. <laughs> uh guess I have to go this way. I see the end dungeon end warp. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately yeah, they're getting volunteered the hard way. Save that Rappy from running away. It'll probably take us another three minutes to clear, because I think there's like three rooms or so between us and the end. I think this is one of the quests where I like I think I'm like really close to the end and then it makes you take like a side route or something like that. Oh that's rude, it's fun them on the other side. That's maximum rudeness. Kill you real quick. I do like Rambling May. Uh, I don't remember which way is the way for progress. Is this just treasure? Okay, just making sure it's no chat or no switches. I just wanted to rule that out. Like, I know we have to go further down. We're like double room away from clearing. You can see the warp. Mm hmm. XP per second is okay. So again, if, the, if this quest, for example, entered the RBR, I'd probably play it. This needs like a little teeny boost. But I, I think the enemy count isn't terrible. death flying around me. I can barely target them fast enough. Speaking of which... Yeah, there we go. I killed one all by myself. I did it. Oh, I got frozen at the worst time. Game, please. Stop it. Ah, you are the frozen one. Oh wait, that was it? Oh, I thought we had to go to another room. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I forgot the Rappy. Uh, rip Rappy. Eh, yeah, the quest was okay. It's, it, the, the XP was fine. Like, with the 25% XP, it'd be like 120-ish. It's not bad. So we'll try another quest, compare it. I don't think we'll full clear the other quests, we just get like a little sampling of it. So many escape dolls. All that for 12,000 Masetta? Really? Best rewards in this game do not make sense. June said hello. I'm assuming they're saying hello to their other people. And 
away we go. Let's try a VR quest, although it's maximum attack VR. I remember I do this every time. <laughs> it, I have to make sure to check in maximum attack, even though it's a VR quest. It has VR in the name. It is a maximum attack quest. Yeah, that one I think has more favorable spawns. It's a little faster to go through comparatively. Dango saying it's like, you just wiped out the entire area? Here's here's a five of dollars. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It doesn't even give us like a thousand a minute potentially spent there, which is crazy. Like the 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 ratio of time to money is staggeringly terrible. Technically, if we complete this quest, we could get the MAE tickets. I almost never complete this quest. I don't think Pink has. Does Pink have anything in Spaceship? Let's learn together, chat. I I I don't ever play Spaceship. I avoid it like the plague. Let's find out. Pink Spaceship has God ability. One a Jito and a Prophets of Otav. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. It it is not quite a daylight scar or anything is interesting. I was gonna say I'm using the panel. It's not me. There we go. Actually, want a Motab, but not to hunt it or to buy it. Oh no. Well, in theory, Tiggy, I will leave it to your judgment call. If you feel like doing Spaceship, we could go do Spaceship. <laughs> I can't guarantee you will get anything of interest there, because it is Spaceship. It has, like, two good ideas. <laughs> I see the no, exactly. Yeah, it's definitely in ru- It is definitely episode one ruins. Um, I'm gonna say it's, like, orange or something. It's not, like, a common one, if I remember correctly. I remember looking at its drop rate when I was first playing, and I'm like, wow! This is a really rare wand. I wonder if it's any good. And then I looked at it and I'm like, isn't this just worse than Psycho Wand? The truth was there. Okay, so team will go through the northern exit. I'm just gonna spam some fireballs. There we go. Yeah, I just figured, like, if I'm gonna invest time in it, like, the only reason I would get that is if I'm bored. Like, because <laughs> otherwise it's, like, I would rather get the one that is just stronger. And also reduces how much TP I need. Especially after playing Hunter, it'll be like, yeah, it's okay, I'm low HP. HP doesn't matter in this game. Sort of. <laughs> you're, you're... Current health does not matter as much. It might be the four accurate statement. Greater than one, good enough. I don't have dark flow to worry about. You've come to turns with buying mega rares. Oof. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. Like you'll give it a shot, and then like. The novelty wears off after like a thousand runs of the same thing, no items. So at least you could say you went for it. It is orange, look at that. Although I, I wasn't thinking Darkbringer, but there we go. See, I just thought to myself, what is an idea I never play in Ruins? That was like a snap pick. <laughs> I'm like, I used to run orange a long time ago. I remember that before I switched their ID. Uh, 
Uh, was over here chests? I think it was chests. Oh no, it's war. Never mind. Oh, it was the other quest where it was chests. Never mind. I think this is where I get surrounded by the Crimson Assassins and then there's like a line of people. Yeah, there we go. I vaguely remember this quest. I remember the conga line in the middle. The conga line here, I love when we get to the conga line. Although it might not be this specific room, but I'm pretty sure it's this quest. Hunt Pink Sorcerers in episode 2 for more than worse triple odds. Oof. Yeah, this is probably like one of the few quests I should arguably bring Glide Divine because the room is so big. If we're just doing ATP, we should just do it. I guess if I stand in the center, I can mostly get them. Oh, the conga line is here. Never mind. Found the conga. I do love the sheer number of enemies that spawn there. That makes me smile. Yeah, look how much better the XP is on this quest compared to the other one already. There we go. Even more. Get that XP per second. See, this is a good quest. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... Mm, it's got enough going on with it. Kind of fun for slicers. Forces are still sadly using weapons, but you know. Can't, can't win them all. Nice, event egg. Yeah, this room could be kind of annoying at the end because I know there's flowers that end up on the outside of the pillars. So eventually I'm going to try to position myself to deal with them. I saw it starting to blink, and I'm like, I know I could wait another 20 or so seconds, but just don't want to see it blink. So yeah. Technically, we could skip the boss here. But as I said before, it's actually pretty good XP. So you get really bored of the standard options. Not like top, top tier, but it's like good enough. Like when you get above 120 in a four player group, that, that's good without any other bonuses. It's not quite like TTF 200 plus broken on Dragon, but you know, want to do something as a group. Hunt Rappies, for example. I think it might be the wave after this is the horrible Lily Raves. Which, if I stand in the middle, I could 360 shock. Ooh, a Venag. I'll go pick that up in a moment. If I want to. Yeah, it is. Let me do that. So I could do this to stall for the team. Rude of them to stun me. How did that not kill? Unlucky. It just got kneecapped, essentially. And that is it. Technically, you would reset when you see the last Rappies, but I I'd like to clear the room. I'll leave it up to chat. Do you just want to kill a boss? The next room is the boss. Chat's going in. I respect it. Okay, let's see. Will the game troll me? Oh, the enemy reader didn't break. That's good. Oh, you teleported, you sneaky teleporter. You sneaky, sneaky teleporter. Do you see that, chat? Is there a reason they left this in the game, by the way? Like, that feels like an actual bug. Why, why is that there? That, there's no way that's an intended mechanic where it just teleports randomly. Like, it should either start on the north side of the raft always or the right side of the raft always. Don't mind me just curing the team.
My power level isn't high enough to keep up with the movements. You're right. Holy, that thing is dying so fast. I guess it takes an okay amount of damage from Chain Lightning. Nothing too crazy, but when it's already popped, man, does it die fast. Let's see, what was our XP for a second? About 140. I mean, that's like... Full clear TTF is like about 160-ish normally, right? 160, 170 with a good team. That's not terrible. Too bad we don't, we don't want any pink ID drops. So we could probably do this quest again. It's it's pretty short. The other quest was like 13 minutes to complete. Maybe, well, more like 12 and a half. This one was only 9 minutes to the first area. So I would say overall in terms of efficiency, I like this quest still a little more. How's clock challenge being broken? Oh, team's going in. Team's embracing the spaceship apparently. Well, if team wants to continue, I'll be like, I don't think I've ever done spaceship on this quest. I see people changing their minds almost. Get rid of you. I think they just took the warp back, yeah. Oh, Tiki did leave. Okay. Just a delayed exit. I'm gonna restock since I'm here. Get these. No love for spaceship. Way. So we'll do at least one more of these. How, how are we doing on beat? Ooh, pretty far from even beat again. Damn. Well, hmm. Yeah, let's quit the quest. Let's do at least one more of these. Then is there a rare enemy episode four worth doing? Wow, there are a lot of people in block two. Block one must have filled up or something. So, one more easy non-minute quest. Actually, I know what we could do to mix it up a little bit. Once we're done with this one, we'll do the RBR for episode 4. Because that's also pink ID. The way you don't have to switch characters. Benefits having two forces. I did it again, I went to VR. I never learned chat. Yeah, so these are our attempts at maybe some Vivians, maybe some rare enemies. Technically, it's better to do this hunt during like drop rate or rare and well, not drop rate, better during rare enemy. Or not rare enemy, rare raid, excuse me, versus rare enemy. But sometimes if you just want to see the Easter Rappy, it's probably better to try it a couple times here. I can promise you it's not me this time. There we go. Game was thinking about it. Bonk. Material. Oh, the the Tiki Excalibur came through. Okay, as long as I debuff them, I can combo kill them.
<laughs> Tiki whipping out the the dark flow. It's over. Oh gosh, get off me. Mine material? I think I want that. Okay. Rip Tiggy. I got you, Tiggy. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get by all the claws. <laughs> the murderous Raffies are here. You know what's really sad, Chad? We've been playing all stream. We have not seen a single rare enemy. That is. That is, I think, my complaint about Rare Enemy Week in a nutshell. Not a, not a damn one, chat. <laughs> Where are they at? Are they partying with uh, Dwarf on Eclair? Having a little tea party somewhere? Madness. Another event egg, at least. So I guess on the plus side, every time we don't get it, they're really about to say that. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Little fireball or two down. chose Tiggy's target. That was a poor choice. Oh, don't paralyze freeze me. That's so rude. Bad Lily. So yeah, so as long as I still lure, the Rambling Bay, even without dark percentage, is good enough to combo kill in multiplayer. So in single player, it's just godlike. It's absolutely destroying them. Might not even need to debuff. Love how enemy how many enemies are here. Wish we had more of a response like that in the other quests. Like one one or one or two big rooms with like six waves plus. Maybe like a couple small one-off waves in between. Get out of here, Lily. Nice event egg. Skip to the next song. Merlins. <laughs> they try. Ooh, not able to combo kill a Hildel without dark percentage. Bit of a shame. I feel like I blink sometimes and they just get absolutely deleted. Even you, team. Oh, 
not the back-to-back -back paralysis. That's so rude. Try to zap them before they flee. Angry fist, nice. Man, I wish fist weapons were like actually super viable. Can you imagine like the fist weapon having like dagger dagger amount of hits or something crazy? On top of like maybe dashing you forward. That would have been cool. Just zip to the enemy. Oh, oh, there we go. Glitch down. They have a niche at least as hell cleave. Hmm. I was I was about to ask if it had to deal with ball up. I was literally about to ask. Maybe I should put Angry Fist back on the ultimate list. Oh, I'm too far over. Made a mistake. Get out of here, Barbara Ray. You're already gone. Hmm. Let me add that in, Hellcleave. Uh, let's see. Boss optimizations. I might just I mean I'm not even gonna rape for the raft. I'll be like bye. This is how this is how we leave the raft real time. Sacred Duster is the best for the other two. Sacred Duster. Why can I not picture what this is? Oh, it's another fist weapon. Huh. Okay, I'll revisit that later. I don't want to think too hard at the moment because I'm feeling very tired. Let's do a couple more runs and then we'll end with a TTF, I think. So we'll try episode four. RBR, we'll do two of those and end in a TTF. Sound good, everybody? there. I'm assuming this is episode four. Looks like it. Good, good, good. So I guess I should bring my Foe merch. Yeah, when you said Sacred Duster, I was like, I'm thinking like a Feather Duster. I'm like, what? What is this weapon? I can't picture what it is. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever picked one up. I think I just assumed it was like a cane. I've seen it drop before because it's on green ID. 
I don't think I ever really knew what it did other than it wasn't on my radar before. I guess I'll look for those going forward on Green ID, I guess. Yeah, it's like only Astark drops it. I'm just like, uh, okay. So, as I said before, I have seen them. I just thought they were canes by the name, so I, I was not interested in them. Oh well, good to know about uh, the raw ATP that it has for the unarmed casting, at least. See, I quit my Gafoe merge since I'm going to be spamming Gafoe like 80% of the run. And we'll get started. Extermination. I'm assuming it's new mop-up Operation 5. <laughs> like there's so many, there's so many similar quest names. I wish they named them something slightly different other than putting the word new in front of them. So there we go. Playing RBR, I think also makes sense. Get increased Easter egg chances now, which I think is a good buff. Yeah, new in quotations. So, Chad, are you ready for my intense strategy? Witness me stack a foley on every wave. <laughs> Guardiana, congratulations. Is that a Psycho Wand? If so, nice. Oh, I'm stacking all the Gafoe. I don't even care. Let them spawn into more. Yeah, I don't think it's worth me refoeing because I don't have anything that buffs it. Razan level 29, eh. Actually, it can't be. HP's not going down. Be profits of Moto. Anyway, it's Gafoe stacking a claw. Oh, she probably grants you once. So, yeah, so Zeus, I think, dropped V801. The Zuzu drops Kunai. Pink ID also can get limiter from Gurdabulu. Technically, could get things like the Mother Garbs. Absolutely wrecked by the game. Oh boy. I see where I'm going. I don't think I like where I'm going. I think it's gonna suck me into the pit. Yeah, that was... There's actually nothing I could do about that. The Gurdabulu was pulling me backwards, so I couldn't reorient, and by the time it let go, it was facing me the wrong way. It was so rude. What a trolly enemy spawn. Anyway, back to Gafoe stacking. say my strategy could not be simpler sometimes you just need the mindless fireball in your life not gonna question it so the only thing I have to do is make sure I go on the left warp don't want to see what happens when I take the other ones and then I'll end up in the little sand pit if somebody accidentally does not take the left warp I'm gonna put out a telephone Okay, we're all here. 
So we're getting closer to the first switch that we need to hit at least. So I'm glad that I kind of learned a new quest. I didn't optimize it, but I'm learning the movement of it a little more because I take very big breaks between PSO. So it's not like I'm going to sit there and grind it for four hours. I'm not that kind of PSO player. I need the variety. Unless it's like specifically a really short quest like TTF. I'll do it for like two hours and give up. Yeah, I think once it goes back to like drop rate up or rare up, I think I'll do endless. I was thinking about before if I wanted to do it and I'm like, unfortunately that quest does not allow for rare enemies at all or else it would be more appealing. So there would be literally no point to the bonus. Whereas every other bonus would be useful. XP, rare, draw. So eventually we'll have a nice little rock cast endless, but not today. Earliest would be this Sunday if I decide to stream it. Although honestly, as I said before, I'm feeling super wiped out from work. Just been kind of one of those unfortunate scenarios. My body does not like waking up at 6.30 in the morning, or earlier than that, because that's when I have to log in. Like, oof. Oof at the end of the week. So we'll do our best to not cancel the Friday streams, but they, they might have a delayed start. We'll see going forward. There we go. I'm using the blinking indicators. I'm no longer looking at the upper left. That's what the game has trained me to do. Nothing but pew pew, laser, slash kapoe. Another Guardiana. I mean, I guess if it spawns with hit, it could be good, but... I've yet to see one with decent hit. Ah, uh, this is the room where I think I need to hit the switch. Well, that's just rude. I like how they burn through like five of my soul atomizers as I'm like the first in the room. It's so brutal. I know there's a uh, Greta Bulu coming up. I'm just gonna brace my face for impact. Speaking of which. Seriously? There we go. Heal the group up. Grants the target, goodbye. So I'm gonna go through the left door, everybody else could go through the right door. And then you have a choice to go left or right, make sure to go and take the right warp. I will take the ceiling circle though. Somebody just throw a TP when you're in the other room. I'll join you. Not worth me walking. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is where you put me. <laughs> I love for a second there. That was an interesting visual bug. When I warped, I just saw Tiggy's mags like slide into view. Like, they didn't spawn with him, they went like, whoop, like straight across the screen. Like, just a few over his shoulders. <laughs> That's very goofy looking. They were doing the power slide. Yeah, this room is probably the only room I would consider maybe refoeing. But my damage is so bad. There we go. The downside of Fomarl, she does not do super hot here. Oop, team's going backwards. It's just me fighting a, a lone enemy chat. I'm a slow killer. Unfortunately, with Satellite Lizard, I don't think I brought my melee weapon. Yeah, I didn't. Otherwise, I would have Vivian did it. Oh, power material. Mm. That's fair. Another Sulfurino. So yeah, Vito ones, potentially some kunai. I would like the kunai for my hunter. 
got to roll with hit though for the non huka seals. Block one, somebody has found... Well, I apparently found a Mother Garb. Okay. Somebody's reached level 200, never mind. Congratulations to them. <laughs> that might end up going on my blue force permanently. How did I still get hit by that rock? That is so sad. I had like ample opportunity to dodge. They did find level 200. When, now whenever they hit the pause menu, they can see it. They found it. Yeah, the other rooms just have treasures. I guess it's not a bad idea to check the alt paths. But obviously not everybody would go check it. There we go. Look at that. I used Slicer. I briefly paid attention to enemies on screen. No idea where the zoo is. There it is. Nice photon crystal. I'm gonna check this real quick. Don't mind me. Nothing of interest. Healing circle in there though. For traps. That's not bad. Take one of the die grinders. I was just waiting for Tiggy. Like, I will buff Tiggy. <laughs> he will not dodge this upgrade. And this is the final switch we have to care about. It's easy enough to get to. Just kill all the enemies, go in the blue laser gate. So I'll go through the laser gate. You guys can just go on ahead. I think you have to take the left of the two paths. So ignore the fact that there's a, a barrier there. I think that eventually becomes a real path if you were to have backtracked and come here again after you hit the final switch. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna have somebody teleport me because it's not worth walking. There's a blue. And now we hit the final switch. Oh, it's so rude. Rip all my soul atomizers. I gotta restock them. We'll do the quest one more time. This quest with the bonus XP, you can see we're getting 177 XP a second. Like, that's actually comparable with, uh... PTF. Like, believe it or not, like that's that's actually really good XP. It's not gonna it's not gonna beat like the dragon reset, but it beats like a full TTF. But obviously, the reward of full TTF is a little different. But just kind of interesting to observe. So this is a very good quest for RBR. So kind of a shame I didn't play it a bit more. Nice of NA. At least we got to show it off a bit on two different occasions. I like that now you only really have to... Did I seriously get lasered while using Moon? That's so unfortunate. I like that now for the boats part, you know. We don't have a reason to skip the, the equivalency, because I know when I did... Uh, before it went to RBR, and it, another Mother's Guard. Almost perfect statted one, actually. Huh. Well, there you go. But anyway, what I was saying before is before it went to from Hunter's Boost Road to RBR, I didn't really feel like a huge point to doing some of the quests during the holidays. If I recall correctly, Easter is one of the ones where I kind of doubted everything. I think it's better for me to take the warp back because I need to get soul atomizers. Or telepipe, I mean, versus the warp. Put these away, don't need these. We'll do one more of these, because they're pretty quick. We'll do a TTF to end the run for the night. Or 
perfect. So yeah, it didn't seem like anybody was interested in leveling level 80 characters. I did ask a few times throughout the stream, but it's fine. People were not... I, either they're doing their own thing or they already hit 80. Oh well. <laughs> Today was the opportunity. I was thinking about doing Blue ID episode 4, uh, but we didn't get any takers. Got escaped all from my trouble, sure. 24,000 Meseta, see? That's that's much better than the episode 2 rewards. Like night and day. I like the little Easter Rappy for their team flag, that's nice. Not in a rush to the level anybody. Some people are. Some people don't even have a character in AD. Oh, that is not the right episode. Oops, ignore. I don't want to do episode two. Try that again. Yeah. As a, my philosophy is I want them to be at a level where they feel fun, not necessarily optimal. So like they not every character has to be 180 for me to like start enjoying them. <laughs> Unless they're faux Newman, because they're they're so stat dependent. At least when it comes to melee specifically. But uh yeah, it's just kind of one of those things where I did not enjoy like the 120 to 140 range on most characters, unless it was just Phone Newman Episode 4 Blasting. Then I had fun since like level 80. Phone Newman OP. But there are definitely other characters like Humar, Ramar, where they did not have the right stats. They are just kind of painful to level. Definitely, it's going to get better when I get more, like, charge weapons with high hit. You get your dark flows. Potentially get your ridiculously good armor. what I was thinking about earlier. Just thinking about how much they, they ripped off the Huka seal. Her stat line makes no sense. Accuracy so high, her damage is worse than Humar's. What an absolute madness bunch of stats he has. Those rock casts and Romars compared to her anyway. Oh, well. Uh, I'll check the items down in the bottom right. Uh, nothing of interest. That's a shame. Yeah, Fomoral's another one. Honestly, though, like, Fomoral, like, her MST should not be the lowest of the forces. That really makes no sense. She should have had more than Fomar. I think that would have balanced slightly the fact that she didn't have, like, great, like, bonuses toward things. So, like, the Fomar, like, clearly had, you know, intermediate level techniques very strong. And kind of like the the phone rule is just meant to be, you know, kind of an all-rounder, super high MST. The phone moral should have been the same way. She should have had like MST more comparable to phone Newman, let alone the Fomar. Alright, let me just slice her this real quick. Yeah. Rather than watch the chat try to deal like 300 damage at a time to that enemy. Yeah, her stats don't make sense. Huka seals don't make sense. I don't think most of the ranger stats make sense at all. Like, if you if you had just been looking at like a stat block and you saw a character with like the highest defense in the game and like the second or third highest HP in the game, like you would not think ranger. Just there's no reason to unless you played PSO before. 
It's like, wait, why is the sniper the tankiest character? How's that fair? <laughs> why is it the humor that tanky? What's up with that? Give him a niche. <laughs> Call him Tankmar. Just very weird decisions with the stats in general. I think they corrected that for the most part in Fantasy Star Zero. Like, they, they heavily, heavily nerfed the Ramar's ATA, for example. I mean, to be fair, that, that really needed to happen. Their niche is being human, very true. I find it funny that Tiki's character is saying that as the Hugh cast. <laughs> feel like he's talking in character almost. I think he just goes like, <laughs> puny flesh bag, <laughs> not hit as strong as mighty Hugh cast. <laughs> Oh. Goodbye, all these enemies. Hmm. Just thinking what ID. I mean, I guess I could bring... I don't know. What is chat in the mood for? Yeah, beats chest, pretty much. I'm just thinking, it, would it be better to bring green, viridian, white to the final TTF? We did a couple green earlier, and that has, like, the cycle one chances be 101. Radiant's also pretty solid, but we don't have to do the cycle one check. It also gets the L and K from Worm, which I value a little more than something like a Holy Ray. Do Viridia go get you an L and K? Well, Hellcleave has spoken. How's this Hellcleave? If it is if it is an L and K with hit percentage, it's all yours if it drops for me. It could be at a hundred, <laughs> like if you check it, I'll still give it to you, Hogley. I haven't played Viridian that much. I guess if we have a force with us, I could just bring in the Rocka Seal. Otherwise, I could play my level 200 Fo Newman, who, by the way, has seen like basically no playtime, because I would rather level characters than use a character that's already done. Still give you PD, so you can buy whatever. Just tell you that lot, no. I'm mostly fun. As I said before, there's only a couple endgame items that I really want, and it's mostly just improvements on what I have, like a better Cannon Rouge, better Heaven Striker. Um, then I think from that standpoint, it would just be... Maybe an Excalibur? XT has found Frozen Shooter with 50 hit, wow. That's pretty good. He's gonna see meanwhile less earlier. He's gonna say if the Ramar uses that, never miss. Ooh, that was a little risky to do there while I was tired. I could have lobbied out of the menu there. I mean, ideally, I would get a limiter from Gerda Bulu because we are doing this, and that's like the one item that I would like another of, so I could do duo stuff. But I've come to accept that I will not receive any more limiters. They've been banned from me. They're no longer allowed to spawn. I'm gonna hit the switch. Team can go the other direction. I'm gonna step in the healing circle, and then I'll just warp to the team. This is not worth walking. Okay. Thank you, team. Oh, photon drop. Unexpected. Aw, oh, take that blinking indicator. I, I rebuffed before it started doing it. I can't believe Brant's actually hit that from there. And then it didn't go off of the path. We'll take it, I guess. <laughs> it's like the least optimal choice. I probably should have Zonded, but I, I didn't have that on my quick bar. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe we'll do two TTFs. Let's not let's not end with a single TTF. Let's do two TTFs. So I'll do probably Rocket Seal twice. Get used to playing the character a little bit. She already has my 30 hit Excalibur, so I'm not worried about her being geared. Oh my gosh, I didn't walk into a trap. I did it. Hmm. Just trying to think if there's anything else I really wanted to go for. Like, Psycho One's like one of the only Uber rares I was interested in. Uh, the other one would be Ajito 1975 or whatever it is for the Origatado or whatever it's called. I just wanted to play around with it since it seemed like it had like valid strats versus like, ooh, pretty shiny thing. I don't think I'm gonna bother with Seal J Sword. The hunt for it just looks, is like soul crushing. At least I could pretend I'm doing other things, but I'm fighting like for the Psycho One. Like, technically, I'm doing Psycho One whenever I do Red Eye DTTF or something. Like, it's not a lot, but at least I could say every day I go a little towards it. It's like five PDs, really? That's funny. I would have thought it would have been like 20 or so, but I guess people don't use it for anything in particular. Other than maybe Bolt Up. I mean, if that's the case, I might as well just buy it rather than do the hunts for it. I do it on occasion as, like, not the main hunt, but, like, if I happen to be going through. So, like, for example, white ID TTF, technically, I go for it. Yeah, I'm aware people have to spear it and it loses the stats. Because I was like, you just need kind of, like, any amount towards it. I mostly wanted to do the... Oh, that was the streamer name. I was, like, I was like, I felt like I was having a stroke reading what that was. I was like, I don't know what that is. A Google Bonker, I think is the name you were trying to type there. I'm not, I guess chat really wanted the items. Yeah, I don't see like, I, I just don't want to do that for me. Like. Me, that's not my playstyle. I like to mix it up because I get bored pretty often. So it's like, I like PSO, but I don't like one quest that long. I don't mind going back to quests if I like really like them. But TTF at this point is not more that I enjoy the quest. It's more that it's mandatory for late game. I'm at that point where I feel with it. Like, if I have like 40 minutes in my lunch break, let's say, after I eat food, I'll go. Yeah, I could probably just do like a quick TTF. And that's usually about the extent of it. Maybe two. But it's not going to be like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to grind it. I think the only time I've really grinded a quest in the past like two years that I can think of was uh, that awful, awful Christmas fiasco reset for Lily. That was like eight hours straight. And I was like, I am never doing that again. It did not pay off. The literally one minute run repeated for eight hours. So you can calculate how long that took to do. Because I think I literally log out at like the 52 second mark. Okay, I'm not going in there first. I've learned my lesson. I don't want to get paralyzed. There we go. <laughs> How rude of episode 4 and making me think about getting cure paralysis here and not just like cure shock. Rude. So we'll see. I probably won't end up being able to do PSO Saturday. I still haven't decided whether I want to do Phoenix Wright immediately or just like go to sleep. <laughs> I guess it really just depends on what we end up doing Saturday night. That was the other thing I was thinking about. Because I do not want to feel like this all weekend, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and use a slicer here.
rip limiter chances. Give it a salute. I think that'll be my last limiter chance until... Ooh... Anniversary? <laughs> I can't think of a reason I would do that otherwise. Because I do like the potentially the Christmas fiasco. Limited limiter drops. It feels like it. I at least help somebody earlier get their limiter. So that's good. I would just like one more, or maybe two, just so that way all my forces have one and I don't have to rotate them out. I'm close. I think my four major forces have them. It's more the ults that don't. So sometimes I get confused if like Waluigi has it versus like Dumpling, for example. I have to kind of check to see who has it at the time. But anyway, well, for Hellcleave, we're going to go ahead and play my Seabank 3 character. We're bringing in the Rocket Seal for two TTFs. We're going to end the stream with that. I was going to say, I think at this point, almost, I think all but one ID that was meant for TTF has actually found a red ring. Because my Ramar found it, my Rock Seal found it, my Green Force found it, my Phone Newman found it. Then I got more than one, I think, with the uh, Ramar. Perfect mayhem! Welcome, Chrysogram. Hopefully you're doing well. We're wrapping up with a little bit of boss rush. We'll be going for like another half hour or so. Hopefully you're doing well. I saw Chrysogrim playing some Curse of Darkness randomizer or something like that. Hopefully that's been going well. Yeah, I think from my standpoint, I'm just like, hmm. Beautiful, beautiful mech gun until everything goes away. How's it going? I'm feeling super tired, but I'm going to make it to the end. <laughs> I promised two TTFs, we're going to do it. <laughs> well, technically I didn't promise, but I did say I would do it. That's close enough. It's like a promise. Oh, you're playing through crazy mode. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think I caught you playing, I think, the randomizer briefly. Makes sense. please uh i don't have one <laughs> there we go i have to go get them later i guess since we're doing ttf i must have burned out on them yeah i don't see them in my list I was gonna say, I imagine crazy mode is just pure suffering of like high damage enemies. So that's a very Chrysogrim thing to do. The boss literally is dead. <laughs> yeah, there's. Okay, they they tried to fix it, but it's cl it's clearly back. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say no. Like none of us swung at it that time. I don't think. Its HP disappeared from the HP bar. We just did so much damage collectively for like two frames and just died. 
Someone did 247 damage to Akum, leaving at 257 at max health. I guess, Chris Agrim, you could say that was crazy damage. Can't find your cure freeze. Oh. I don't think I. I honestly don't think I've ever really brought it into a false fight with force. I feel like I'm at the point where it's just like. As long as I don't get in the middle of the arena, I don't think it kills. Why could I not shoot that trap? That was madness. Anyway, time to go dupe some slimes while chat does other things. One, two, three. Okay, dupe, dupe in time. I don't recall if they give anything, but they're Easter eggs to me, so I might as well just dupe them, right? Like, what's the worst that happened? Let's get more slimes. There we go. Oh, didn't even kill all of them. Sadly, I don't have a tail. Oh, no, I do. I do, but the monomate was out of order. Okay, I was like, I felt like I had them, but I didn't see it when I menued. Okay, let me fix that because that's not correct. Put this here. Sword. There we go. Telepipe should be at the bottom. There we go. So yeah, just figure the slimes give, you know, 4,000 extra XP for no reason. And might as well get a Venex. That's my modification to TTF for Easter. Or Chrysogrim. So where where would you place Curse of Darkness so far, Chrysogrim, compared to other Castlevanias? Is it your new love interest? Is it a, I'm only doing it because chat loves to see me suffer? Where is it on that scale? Hellcleave, there you go. You willed it into existence. Sadly, it has no hit percentage. Close, Hellcleave. Oh. I think the music fell asleep. You're not allowed to give up on me. Continue, Soundtra. Hellcleave has subscribed. Thank you, Hellcleave. Although I see in the text for clarification, it says Chris Agrim has gifted Hellcleave. He's gifted 42 subs in the channel. Thank you for that, Chris Agrim. <laughs> I love his little name got the little gift icon next to it afterwards. So I believe this is V101 chances, so I might as well do it. Ooh, I was expecting them to jump, but they didn't. It was awkward. Back to the center to make them leap, maybe? There we go. Do I heal? Maybe? I definitely want to do the little trick to get past them. I'm gonna let the team deal with this. I'm gonna go for the Cannon Rouge here. This will help team out a little bit. A little Freeze Trap down, give the team a chance. I think it's Spread Needle time. Menacing dual blades waiting for me at the other end of the, of the arena. I think the turrets are gonna pop up. Just be wary. Oh, I popped up 
next to me. There we go. Probably die made into charge arm. Tiggy is about to slap this boss from existence, rip this boss. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh, I got knocked down. That was rude. Hmm. Sadly, no items of interest dropped there. care of it. I'm gonna freeze to help other people out. I'm gonna do what Tiggy probably does. I'm gonna go slightly left to freeze to make sure that they get frozen. <laughs> Me and Tiggy just joined at the hip right now. I'm like, I will follow Tiggy. Oh, that already got taken care of. Team is fast on the boxes. Oh well. Uh, I don't remember if Viridian has a purpose of clearing these. I know they don't get Cycle 1, but I'm thinking, do they get Heavenly Arms? Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna kill them because they're here. I don't know if I care about the other enemy spawns. I have escape dolls. I have one. Okay. The sorcerer is lava cannon, really? Interesting. Fair, I guess. I'm not gonna say no to that. I was trying to get that for a friend. Without resorting to the market. So we were doing a lot of uh, RBR and Forest. Taking advantage of all the Talos. I think it was decently fun. It was at least something different to do. So I don't regret the quest itself. It's it's not like some of the other quests where it's like it's mandatory. Kind of like RT where it's like, hmm. Yeah, I recall the swordsman lore. I did the uh, what was it, endless nightmare four or whatever. I remember doing a lot of endless nightmare four resets over and over and over. Go to my happy little healing ring right next to one of the last Del Sabres if I wanted to kill them. Okay, so let's see what the boss does. I mean, ideally here I won't really get hit by spells. We just... Ooh, we got a good pattern. I'm actually gonna walk backwards in case it's homing on me. And I think that worked. Because it, it missed Tiggy. So I think it was targeting me there, actually. So that worked out. I mean, if if I could cause Tiggy to not get hit by the laser, I'm I'm okay with that. <laughs> like of all the party members, like, I don't need to do damage, it's fine. My damage is technically third. Uh, let's see what we got. Are we gonna get a useful Yashminikov? Uh, looks like Yashminikov this time. Oh, I missed. Goodbye. And basics going into like full panic mode as we uh, kill falls.
40,000 XP, not bad. Yeah, see, we ended this quest at 144. So the RBR actually got better. Oh, did you get Easter Egg? Or Photon Dropped? Oh, Photon Dropped. Heartbreaker. Thoriel says, Dark Falls on hard mode is about to wreck me. What class are you playing into it, Thoriel? We are like steamrolling falls. We care not for what falls does. Do I even... I said put this in my share bag, technically. Oh, Hugh cast? Oh, nice. cast is quite fun high ATP his big downside on the falls fight is more did you bring a pistol <laughs> if no pistol experience and boss equal sadness That's when you finally get into the final phase. Normal mode, you don't have to do the full boss fight. We'll do one more. So those charge ray guns with like 50 hit just absolutely dumpster falls. You cast ATP makes no sense. So one more quick towards the future. Let us know if you needed any assistance, Toriel. We're apparently Team VCOD going off the first letters in everybody's name. Oh, right. She's using perfect resist instead of heavenly resist. I was being kind of lazy about it because I just swapped what Adap did. Because <laughs> this character was using an Adap for a while. But now that she's at like basically max accuracy, she's one point off of max accuracy, which does not make any reasonable difference in my ability to hit. But from that standpoint, I mostly just wanted to make sure I had EDK. But then I found out my heavenlies did exist and I put them on my share bank. I got to get rid of them though. I'm assuming by later, you mean when you level? Because, oh yeah, we'll, we'll be playing pretty much all month, for sure. Nice, nice, nice. We'll potentially just shower you with gifts. Like, here's a charge gun here. Here's a charge ray gun. Here's like a 13 with four slots. Here's the disco brave man with like 30 hit. Here's the dead dragon. Rip Dragon. But yeah, I do think between now the Humar and the Hugh cast, I don't think I'm the one doing it. Between both of your damages, right as the dragon straightens up, it just dies. Like, look at it. Like, right here. Think it lived? Yeah, that time it lived. There's like, there's a little teeny window. Like, it's, I don't know how many frames it is. It feels small, but right between when it goes from moving to rigid, it like very briefly skips a calculation and you could kill it then. This time DF special, that's fair. The ticky damage is, is very silly. I was watching him do like 900 times six on the parts because he can hit the head. I'm like, that's that enemy's not going to survive. What are they going to do about that? You know what? I might as well just dupe this slime here. I got nothing better to do. Oh. Why didn't it dupe? Did I not triple shot? I thought I triple shot. Oh well, maybe I only did two shots there. Well, anyway. As long as we do the triple attack, so we're gonna do normal, normal, normal to ensure that it remembers my third hit was used. That causes my fire traps to take on the property of the last thing that I used. Normally that doesn't matter, 
it matters for duping slimes. It's in my way. So if I go in this room now, all my fire traps will duplicate the slimes. As long as I don't attack again, it'll remember it. So it's dupe in time. And every single one of these slimes can give you easter eggs, and photon drops, and money, and materials. Oh, there's still another slime. Oh, there's still more slimes in this room, jeez. Uh, well, I'll just keep bombing them until they stop spawning. There we go. I was mashing that fire trap button chat, I was like, they just keep coming. Yeah, we'll be putting out, I think, the uh, ultimate guide. Probably doing a video, maybe at the end of Easter, or like, right after the Easter event. I at least have notes, I just have to kind of prepare a little bit to make it a bit cleaner. I don't want to do like a lot of pauses to look stuff up. So I want to make sure I have like a couple windows open with all the items. And just things of that nature to make it smoother. I know there's people that are looking to come into ultimate and try to figure out what to hunt. So if there's any other niche items you can think of help leave. I think I gave help leave my master list already. I don't think I've touched it very much. Might have reordered one item on the list, maybe. Well, you know what? I'm gonna throw more confused traps down. I'm gonna deal with this. Yeah, give us those easter egg chances. Let's go. I'm like, you three fight to the death. So I still need 1.2 million to level, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yes, yes I am. Level ups get kind of silly in PSO. I hope I need to hit somebody else's trap. That's slightly too early. I just see the wall of light whenever Tiggy attacks. I'm like, oh no. Poor viewers. I'm so sorry, viewers at home. The white light of purging is occurring on screen. Bring them in a little closer. Yeah, that was a good grouping. Ooh, I did like almost 1400. Thank you, crit charge arm. It's very silly. Oh, Tiggy spawned them early. I wanted to get by them. Oh. I think I could still make it. I just have to go the. Hello, rockets. We're good. No worries, Tiggy. It's fine. You, you cleared the path, Tiggy. You're good. <laughs> as, as long as there was an opening. <laughs> your, your sword one shot a nice opening for me, so that's all that matters. If it was somebody that was like level 80 and they did that, and then I had to go deal with the brands, then I would be, then I would be sad. I'd be like, no, please. You don't have Hugh Cast true power unlocked. It is kind of sad though, I'm using like the deep hearts armor, also beware the red thing's coming out. Oh. Oh, I wasn't sure if you had the uh, V801 Excalibur strat, I probably should have asked. I just assumed it was me, some player one. Also, that was not my charge arm. Menu fail. I blame being tired. just gets deleted. A, a 50 total hit Dark Gladius. Game, please. <laughs> stop, stop this tomfoolery with these items. Give me something useful. 
Roll, roll in my eyes, chat. One day. One day it'll be like, oh, 60 hit charge Vulcan. Unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll go this way. I wasn't really needed in the other path. Let me clear these. Goodbye. Did the music beep at me? What the heck was that? Oh. Apparently the staff credits has a long gap of silence in it. Nice. Clear path out of here. Uh, I guess I'll die, mate. Uh, pipes up, Tiggy dropped in. Good luck, Toriel. Climbing up to 80. It was XP week, I think, last week. It'll be a couple weeks more before it goes on rotation. RBR is not a bad way to level, but that requires, like, more dedicated groups, sadly. It's not something I'd recommend doing some of those solo who cast. Although that reminds me, Toriel, are you doing any other quests, like, uh, something the Hugh would be able to do easily, like Terrell's Ego, for example? That one is a very fun, clear one. Especially if you're looking to get Easter eggs during the Easter event. Maybe not a full clear. Full clear is a strong term, but at least doing up to Forest, Terrell's Ego. I feel like that doesn't have like a huge gear requirement. Rescue from a goal is a little brutal, I would say, without a... Uh... Well, I guess that they don't have EDK. I guess it's not too bad on lower difficulties. Because at least you're immune to the poison of the regular Lilius. But both those quests are pretty good. We we're playing some of those yesterday. Or, well, technically yesterday, but on stream a couple days ago. So anyway, we're going to dodge Falls' strike by just making sure we are not standing where we were at the time of the cast. I'm going to go slightly over here so it hits me less even if it targets this way. As long as I wiggle out, it should be fine. Unfortunately, everybody's on every side of Falls, so there, I don't think there's like a known safe spot. In single player, when you see that, like... When it does its little um, parking animation, if you just run away from it in one solid direction, it should always miss you. We stick near the end of the arena to make sure that it doesn't rebound on us, though. Because if you're really far away, you do get punished for it. Seriously? One full screen for me. So rude. Twice now I've wanted to kill it with Heaven Striker. Oh, look at that. It gave me a chance. I missed my shot, but I tried. Yeah, because, like, free roam is pretty inefficient. That's why I'm asking. Sadly, the government quests and uh, free roam are not that great. Oh, nice level up. 40 hit arms. Game, please. I'm being actively trolled. Please stop dropping weapons that would be good if they had a special. Man, could you imagine, Chad, if I had a 45 dark, 50 hit charge arm, how good that would have been? 
I mean, like, I'm already using it. <laughs> like an equivalency thereof. It's so sad. One day, chat. It'll be an item worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, it's a difference of, like, in the same amount of time it would take for you to kill, like, 100 enemies in, like, free roam, you would kill, like, 400 to 500 plus kill a boss. Like, the t same time span. So, I definitely say when you're getting used to the game, play whatever you want, but just be aware that if you're looking to make another character or make them level up real quick to 80, those other quests are definitely worth going into. I have a couple of videos on it, but we also play most of the quests that are quote-unquote meta. Some of them are more meant for, like, four-player, though. But if you have any questions on it, just let us know. I think if I don't know the quest, Helkley probably knows the quest. Tiggy could tell you all about the resets of uh, Psycho Wand. Three red rings. So I got a level three character. So that'll be Hugh Casile, Hugh New World, Raw Cast. And then after that, I have time before I need to get one for the Hugh Cast. And then I'll decide if I want to name my forces to have it. 1.8k kills left on my. Swordsman lore? Oof. It does take a while. Hellcleave saying you'll be getting one of my 50 dark, 50 hit charge arms whenever I get better. Oh, one day. Also, it's funny that we're listening to Sonic stuff and we're listening to very distinctly Mario at the moment. Rip Sonic. Hill Lily, Psycho Wand, and Hilda Tour Heavenly Punishers or Traps don't do them. I was gonna say, you know what's funny? I the only Heavenly Punisher I've seen dropped was on stream. And it was from uh Endless. <laughs> it was like it was like a two of in the whole run. I'm still laughing about that today. That, I will never not find that funny. <laughs> so that's why we kill the Psycho Wand stuff. Oh well. So thank you everybody for joining. We're listening to Mario apparently while listening to Sika songs. So we'll go back to, I guess, the Let's Ch